Hello, VOD viewers. We're actually playing Dota. I'm excited. I've been watching so much Dota the last couple days. But it's not quite the same. Uh, so we're going to take it chill, easy, play games. Um, I will probably still do some replays. Uh, less than usual, maybe. Can you guys hear Jupiter? He's pissed. No replays. That's what Wednesday's for. You're abandoning the people. Yeah, I understand Jupiter. I'm taking a quick brush through. I decided to just add, for one of the playlists, what we're listening to now, just added most of my, like, saved songs into a playlist. But I gotta go through. I'm still doing it. I'm taking a precursory look if there are songs I don't want played on stream. There's not that many. I don't listen to that kind of, like, controversial music, but... And I'll keep out... Anything uh, too explicit since this is uh, not that I really care clearly since I listen to the music, but like, I don't know. The stream, I think, has been relatively, you know, I don't know. There's like a certain vibe to it. I feel like some songs don't fit too. So I'm like going through cutting them out. Hopefully we don't miss anything too weird. Cavalcade, what's up? It's Camabus. Yes. <laughs> this is me, that NA caster. <laughs> Uh, thank you. I'm glad a lot of people said nice things to me. I appreciate it. Especially you guys know that was like the first time I really did. I did one cast, some Chinese qualifiers, DPC, um, almost a year or two ago. And that was fun. But being Chinese qualifiers and it being like start super late at night go into like 5 a.m or something right there was a much smaller audience for that so this was certainly uh, a little bit more intimidating in that sense but i didn't feel that nervous but i do think i could have done better but that's okay first time where's your ti invite fingers crossed right uh, I don't expect it uh, anytime soon this year or anything like that, but you know, maybe, maybe it's something we can work to. That'd be awesome. Mm, any more cast plan? So I don't want to confirm anything. I think there will be something late February. As for more than that, beyond that, not fully sure. But I think, I think there is plans to try more. Also, by the way, guys, tell me if the mic audio sounds better or worse than usual. I changed. Uh, I gotta lower my music, actually. It feels way too quiet, actually. What the heck? Um, I, I changed some settings around. That was one of the things that I noticed on the cast. I don't know why my mic audio was so much worse than other people. Because we went through Discord. My mic to the stream and to the videos is like, I'm not going to say it's like professional quality, but it's like, it's decent, right? But in the cast, my mic sounded like way worse. And I don't know if like my internet was not good enough or something. And it was like compressing more before it went to the call. But I feel like other casters did not have that issue as much. So it was driving me crazy. I was like looking through different audio settings and stuff to change. And I couldn't figure it out. But I think I improved the stream and the video audio quality a little bit. So let me know if the settings I messed with are... Uh, good or bad how to be you Ooh, that would be i don't even know everyone's their own person there are things you could be do to be like me that's a that's a long it's a long it all begins being born 1994 september 16th uh be born to some immigrants in america uh, that is where the story begins uh, 29 years later, here you are. There's uh, some steps in the middle we skipped, but <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything in particular? <laughs> if there's an actual, you know, like something specific, we can go into it a little bit more. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm just setting up here at the start. But yeah, we're just going to play some Dota. We'll see how I feel. Maybe we'll do some uh, replays later on. We were watching so much. I just, I just want to play, right? You see so much cool Dota, and you're like, I want to do that, and that's where I'm at now. 
Changi's, what are you feeling? He's the Pudge off lane. Didn't see very much of that at the uh, the qualifiers, but boy, do I want to do it. Um, actual off laners we saw things like Doom and Centaur. We can probably run Viper if we practice Wyvern. Um, oh DK, I'll tell you what, I want to play more DK. Saw a lot of like Mage Slayer DK builds, and boy, did it make me want to do that. I don't think it's actually that good. All right, let me let me step that back. I don't think I saw like the Western European teams doing it as much. Leading up into the qualifiers, in the qualifiers, I mainly watched NA and SA. So actually, maybe there was some development in EU. They're playing some Dragonite, but he really wasn't high up on the list. But I like Dragonite. You guys know that. I've also been thinking about learning Enchantress. Five should I? Chat, should I? In a Meepo? Natures is actually in the pool. Should we just pick him, get him banned? What, they're not gonna pick him? You guys weren't watching the qualifiers? You guys haven't instantly locked in Natures? I wanted to play Enchantress. All right, I guess we're getting to be... They picked Shadow Shaman, but not Natures? Oh, yeah, 250 lasses, guys. That's me. That's hard support Natures in a nutshell right here. Let's go. All right, first game back. I guess we get to be Natures. We're going to be Enchantress next time we're hard support, though. I can't believe they're letting me pick Natures. That's nuts. What are they thinking? I will do it off screen and camera. Swick, thank you, thank you. I, I was really excited to be able to do that. <gasps> they stole the Meepo from us? What a twist. Holy shit. What are the odds of that, guys? I know, it's not casting, right? We're finally playing. I can't, okay, one, I can't believe we got to be Natures. Two, I can't believe they picked Meepo and Husk. Guys, this is disgusting. What is wrong with our enemy team? They have a Meepo player and a Huskar player? What is that? Blech. I'll get Vessel. I'm going to say that ahead of time so my team knows and we don't end up with five of these things. Uh, wait, I was position five, right? Yeah, okay. Airy Wind Ranger. All right, all right. I guard the wooded ways. It's in the back. It's in the back. Better get ready. I think I want more vision this way. Um, actually, maybe I should have blocked this camp, too. Oh, let's put it back here. Alright, should we go for the courier snipes, or should we just, uh... Should we just actually... Use TP to go into the lane? Wind Ranger down here. Either a full first blood attempt with everyone, or it's off lane Wind Ranger. With a wild spirit. Thirty seconds. To slow down. First blood. First blood. Sorry. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> In green, I go. 
I gotta say, guys, I don't feel that sorry. I didn't mean to steal it, but... <laughs> Bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Earth Shaker? Wait, I'm trapped in here. All right, we, I'm stuck here. <laughs> I can't believe Earthshaker committed to this, actually. I mean, I'll just stay until I have teleport. He can't cancel it multiple times, so. Shit, can he kill me? Nah, not if we keep running back and forth. Close, guys. Kobold! Okay, he was pissed that I killed his courier. Do you want healing ward? Uh, I'll be okay. I'll heal. I didn't mean to buy this many. Oh, that was nice of him to offer, I gotta say. Oops. That can't have been worth his time, right? Guys, I, I gotta tell you, it's so tempting. Boy, do I want to kill that courier. Oh my god, please, yes! Oops. Shouldn't have dragged that creep in here. Absolutely destroyed. Oh, my bad. Damn, I thought I could hit him in that. Fuck, man. Yeah, she thought you could too. I also can't believe I didn't get it. Or did I? What happened to it, actually? I didn't get it. Oh, and my inventory was full. Damn. Ah, oh, the stack's getting messed up. With a wild... I heal him. I want to be able to keep playing this lane. Okay, actually, I don't care if they have that camp now. I guess you're Jupiter. 
Oh, he doesn't have a calling blade. Whack. 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 Casually lose half your health. I think we can kill him next time. If I earn him as well. Guess not anymore. Now I don't have an earn charge. Alright, fair enough. Oh shit. Six minute runes coming up. Yes. I can't believe this anime didn't get continued. Magi, by the way. Sorry, you guys can't hear it. Maggie. I can't get over the fact that they pronounce it that way. Almost took it, guys. On my way. Your bottom towers on a tight spot. Wow. <laughs> I, go. I don't want to TB to that. It's like done. Let's see if Wind Ranger's at their rune. Oh, this is kind of dangerous. I don't have a TP scroll. Oh, well. YOLO. Mission success. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you. I had a great time casting. I hope we get to do more. And imagine, I don't even think I did that great of a job yet. There's so much more I can improve on. Looking forward to that. I'm trying to remember where he put his sentries to make sure I don't just like... He turned around instantly. Not instantly. Okay, you know what? Maybe he just saw enough to see the rune. I thought maybe he had vision. <clears throat> uh, I would show up, but... uh. Okay, I don't know why I left. I actually should have just pushed this in further. Oh, he did have one. Nice. Lotuses. Okay, Wind Ranger's doing fine down there, unfortunately. Um, should I? No. You know what? Let's hit this tower. I don't think we have to hide ourselves too much. More important, I think, to like get the damage in. Okay, as Earthshaker respawns, I am retracting that statement.
close to six. I should try to get that. Yeah. Oh, shit. I thought Lena would come over. Oh, well. I was going to die, so I'd get another in charge anyways. If I did use all of them. Alright. Uh, that was into a smoke. Unfortunate. We got tower out of that. I should have... I didn't react fast enough thinking that there was no one there. So I was going to like let Lena get it. I think I could have stolen that from him. Okay, we need to go get level six. Let's go sit in a, uh, let's go sit here and farm. Um, safety bubble's really good, but actually I'm gonna go greedy and get this spark of courage. And we're just gonna farm here to get six real quick and then we'll we'll be ready to TP back out. Oh, maybe we're ready now. I'm taking too much damage doing this. Not too many iron branches actually, knowing I was gonna rush spirit vessel. All these small inventories, like wasting the space on this. My hidden pads. Nothing left of the other fellas mid tower. Yes. Your bottom tower ain't long for this world. Nice, let's go team. Oh, courier, stay alive. Kinda wanna block this, but I don't know if it's worth it. And Meepo, kinda. I think I kind of wish my team had stuck around for that, but I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go on my own with Wind Ranger there. I want a deep ward in this area. Try not to put one here right now. Oscar got whatever it was. We also need one near Roche. Oh my god, this deck's huge.
check your bottom tower. With a wild trying to structures now. Yes. The other fellas aiming to raise the tower, but we were partial to Not the bottom you. tower. There they might come through the twin gate down here. Careful. We can do this. Let me go for like three seconds. Oh, 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 very nice, guys. Risky running here on my own. Go oh, shit, turn around, turn around. So I go. I wanted a deep reward, but I got scared. I think she could just do this. Oh, that's almost coming in. Oh. Get out, get out. Oh, we got so lucky on explosions, guys. Ooh. Oh, man. Definitely could have gotten us. Hey, right, class. Thank you. Thank you very much. Didn't expect that. I should have just used my shard there. Okay. I'm a little scared of Meepo. I haven't seen him in a while. Hope he's not like hitting some super timing. We have two minutes on Aegis still. What do I want to get next? What screws Meepo over? Bloodthorn? I don't think we have a Mage Slayer on the team. Is he building one? Oh, he is. Okay. We do have a Mage Slayer. We hang around here, we can try to steal the Tormentor and Wisdom Rune. He's mm, already got a Dispel. Should I... maybe just Ags would be more annoying for them.
It's 30 now? No. It's 25 and then up or down a little bit, depending on the balance. I'll probably die if I. <laughs> okay, actually, with this many heroes, I think I'll be okay if I'm in the healing ward. <sighs> okay, okay, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Staying in this healing ward. Hello, healing ward. <laughs> oh, shit, the team is in. All right, we're actually just doing it. I guess they've given up. I regret my choices. <laughs> I no longer regret my choices. My choices were excellent. I pushed the limits. I knew exactly what I was doing. I am a top notch player. Uh oh. I am regretting my choices. Wow. Should I farm ancients here in their base? You are doing very well. I'm very proud of you. Okay, I'm regretting it. Let's leave. Too scary. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. This is worth it. Hate for Mega Meepo. Ah! He, he was not a fan of removing Mega Meepo. <laughs> I should have cut a stronger angle to the right, I guess. That was the best chance of living. Um, I did not ping Roche. Oops. It was pretty early, though. I think it can start to spawn soonish. We'll try to be ready. I don't want to TP out, but I should just walk, I think. Shady lanes. Mm -hmm. Why did he just rock my boy? They don't even do that to heroes. What? Do they? Why did he just do that? They are looking. Oh shit. Hide. There's no ward back here. What? What's he doing over here? So I go. 
I thought I was about to get dove, but... Roche is up. I don't want to push out bottom, but I feel like that's where they are. I'm a little worried. I'm not worried about doing this. I'm a little worried. Oh shit. Reposition. I'll go deal with this. Okay, they should know there's something back here. Careful, they smoked. I feel like I should have gotten Ags instead of Ag Shard, actually. Thinking about it, like, maybe if we see Meepo somewhere trying to, like, poof in, we can root him and mess him up. What am I doing? I haven't seen Echo, I think. Alright, doesn't matter. We got Megas. I have a problem. There's no teleport. <laughs> Don't I created some treants. We can play with the treants while we're dead. No! My hero! Uh, do you think this Trian can kill this? Oh, we got this. <gasps> got it. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Took care of mini game lasted long enough. We're back. Oh, full greed. Let's go. Wow! It didn't occur to me. Mega Meepo destroys the anchor. Or not Mega Meepo, just like Meepo in general. I mean, it makes sense, but it's funny to see. I guess I'll just get a Hex. I guess I should place my wards. Oh, I didn't ping Roche again. So bad. Will I die doing this? Where are the other guys? Are they behind? We'll just farm up. We'll wait for Roche, get it. Just make sure my team doesn't like fall behind. Like, if I'm just super farmed too, like, we'll be okay. Even if we throw a couple times, so. Oh, you guys want me to rat during a rush fight? Nah, I, I, I mean, maybe. We'll see. But the tier 4s are still up. I think it'd be better to just, like, win the fight. If the tier 4s weren't up and I was a little more farmed, I might do it. Maybe I should be farming Ancients. I need to do the math at some point. Maybe we'll do it after this game. Like, is it better for me to farm down here or just like farm that triangle with the Ancients? Oh, I messed up. I wanted to stack. Oh, we stacked this camp. Nice.
Does anyone know the, uh, the song playing right now, VOD viewers? You can't hear it. Uh, this is, uh, was it Numb by Marina? She used to be Marina and the Diamonds. Does anyone know what happened to the Diamonds? I feel like she rebranded. She didn't want the Diamonds anymore. Oh, look at that. My team did rush. Let's ping it for once. Uh, something like that. I was a few seconds late. I'm disarmed. Me? Did I just sprout the... GG, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe Urshaker teleported to, my, to his own base to deal with me there. And I still got his courier. That was too funny. I mean, we just had to wait around a little bit, but he couldn't actually kill me. Although he got really close because I, I never, it, I didn't think at this level anyone would ever come to stop me. So I didn't even, I didn't even have a plan. In hindsight, we just run around more and, uh, like waste time until we have our, our thingamajig, our, our teleport. Cause he can't, they can't cancel it repeatedly. And at some point, we can just tank through, like, one level one spell. I guess the benefit is that it was a Wind Ranger versus Juggernaut lane, so he was probably, like, oh, we 1v1 over there, and it's kind of okay for a bit. Which is sort of true, but... Uh, I mean, I'll be back in the lane faster. Muckwin, hey, thank you. Appreciate the nine months. Diamonds always slowly turn back into graphite oh interesting oh excuse me uh okay i mean how many couriers did we kill we killed like three couriers at the start <laughs> look at that the three couriers and the bounties come into play there like in that one minute and we killed like a fourth courier after that ah shit, guys i didn't pick a contract one of the rare times we actually kill multiple couriers. I didn't have it. Damn. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right, maybe again. No, wait, wait, wait. Some quick math. NA math. One second. Let me get a... Wait, I have an existing XL, don't I? Well, actually, I, I don't know if the value has changed. Let's just do another one. Uh, if you're watching this at night before you sleep, uh, warning, I'm about to pop up a bright white XL. Give me a second. I'll try to dim it. All right, close your eyes if you're watching this at night. Oh, sorry, it already popped up. <laughs> I meant to give you... <laughs> Oops. My bad, my bad. All right, you kind of had a warning. Here, we'll make it black.
Boy, I can't see. I can't see anything. Hold on. It's going to be like a shade lighter. Wait, how come I can't see the... Oh, here. Let's see this. There we go. Good enough. Okay, so we need small, medium, large, ancient. Wow, it got lazier as we went. Here, I'll zoom in a bit. Uh, gold XP amount. This is a very messy. I'm not using this for a video. That's why it looks like shit. I just want to quickly, quickly gauge if it's worth my time to farm, like which part of the map in those late game scenarios where I'm just like free farming as a nature support. Okay. Oops. 82, 130, 101, 158, and then 164, 314. Okay, so in that... Uh, bottom versus top. Okay, so in the... Let's, oh, okay, actually I should do... Offlane Ancients versus Safe Lane Jungle. That makes more sense so that it makes it works between different different things. Okay, so in that triangle we have two ancient camps, right? So we got uh this times two plus plus what? A large camp, right? One large camp. Alright. Hold on. Need more subcategories. I didn't think about this. We have to merge cells. It's strictly necessary. Uh, can I just copy this formula over? Excellent. And then the safe lane has what? Okay, actually, I don't know why I did it like this. Hold on. No, it should be all of them. There we go. Okay, so then what's in the safe lane jungle? We have what? That bottom area has two large camps. Two large camps. Okay, let's just do those first four camps, I guess. Uh, and then what? A medium camp? two medium camps and then a small camp so if i walk if i go farm the ancients it's about like i have to go between that whole area the side and that typical jungle area this is just that bottom strip of the safe lane jungle if i go into the actual safe lane jungle like more in the middle of the map there's what? There's two large camps and a medium camp as well. And we could say there's also then the pole camps, but I won't worry about those. Okay, but this is much easier. There's less moving for this one. The ancient camps are harder, but less moving. And then this one, I have to move around a lot more, but there's more in theory. Okay. Problem solved. Erica S., hey, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I definitely hope to do more. There's actually more I want to improve on, too. That was the, the like first real casting we did for a big audience. Done some like smaller stuff. Um, it's harder. Like on stream, I just ramble to you guys on my own. I don't have to like listen, but talking, talking to another caster is a lot harder while also processing. And then also, so we actually had a camera person, which is cool. I've never had that, but it was a little, that's a new experience as well. Like being able to watch my own game, but I couldn't actually click. You know how usually you can like follow the perspective. I couldn't do that because of, I don't know why I think they told me it's bugged, 
um so i have to like watch on a discord screen but the discord screen's like a little laggy so that was like a new experience to try to like keep up with what the cameraman's showing the viewers but also talk about stuff and like also check my own things so i'm glad you liked it and it seems like several people have said nice things thank you guys but that means that means look forward to the future if it, it can be even better Ooh, yeah is the purest form of Dota gameplay. It's the best. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Swick, we were we were playing Dota in the mind. That's the truest form of Dota. It was all all in the head. Started watching in the middle of the match. It's like I know that voice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, are we good to go? We're gonna go. We should play another match, right? Oh yeah, it was pretty late for EU viewers, right? I gotta say, that's the downside of casting. At least this was a fixed schedule, so I was like all in on SA and NA Dota. I didn't really get to watch the other regions that much because Yeah, I was just like I was just trying to focus on like what I was doing. So I missed out on like all the EU qualifiers and uh China SEA, Mina, Mena. Who what's the What's the correct pronunciation? Is it MENA or MENA? M-E-N-A, that Middle East, North Africa region? I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick before we play. Whoa. Almost pulled my headphones off. China final was wild. I did I did catch the end of that one. I didn't see the whole series, but I just saw I like woke up, checked Twitch, and I saw that there was a game going. So I, I did get to see that. That was wild. I gotta complain, guys. Why don't teams build Helm of the Overlord in the late game? You can take over a creep and then just backpack it, or you can drop it too. You can drop it in the base and then you keep the creep. So I don't understand why teams have like, oh, here's my backpack, BKB Lincoln's triple divine in the like base, like just in case I die, I can buy back and have like all my items again. Like just buy a Helm of the Overlord before you buy like 15 backup items. So you can you can have the bonuses from the creeps. You can use them to scout like Roshan. Like you can have them jungle. You don't want to go back, right? Like just jungle something with the Helm of the Dominator. Yeah, the the like the dragon creep or or the uh oh, what is it called the ice troll whatever right just like if you're if you're that late in the game and you're scared to go high ground just like send that guy forward and spell cast on a building do like however much damage it is was it the oh i have it open right here frost bitten creep we have ancient ice shaman and ancient frost bitten golem the ice fire bomb Right, with the Helm of the Overlord at that stage of the game, 800 cast range. It does 50 DPS over 8 seconds. And I think it ticks immediately. So I think it's actually, I think it's more than 400 damage. Yeah, it's 425 because of the way it ticks in half second intervals and starts instantly. So everyone can pick a Helm of the Overlord. Just send them in. Pew, 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 pew. Actually, no, it, you can probably, well, maybe that's something we should test. You can probably only be affected by one at a time, if I had to guess. Oh, shit. Five seconds. Off lane, let's go.
What's up, bro? Helm Dawn better than Eaton Moonshard. The other day. Crazy. I think for carry, yes. Damn, no, man. sorry, take that back. For carries, I think eating the the moon shard first is okay. Seconds. But for like supports and mids, depending on like who you're playing, like go and your pick. like someone build a helm of the overlord, please. Like even just one. Please God. Uh Venno, that's awesome, dude. I love dealing with Venno. I be? I'll just like out regen him, maybe. Five seconds. That's so annoying, though. All right, we're just gonna have to out regen through the lane. Is my hope. I know this may not have been great, guys. I know he has a passive for this to reduce the healing, but I also think like I'm gonna build a mage slayer. And not give a shit about some of his damage and like reduce his damage. I don't know. Maybe it's stupid, guys. I also kind of wanted to be a melee hero since I have the Bat Rider. But maybe I should have been someone who could like. I don't know. We could have we could have done better, maybe. I'll think about it later. Let's focus up. Luna. Okay. We're gonna take some early damage. We'll go Bracer, Treads, Mage Slayer. I'm trying to decide if I should get two, two Bracers. I think two Bracers is okay. Bracers, Wand, Tread, something like that into either straight Mage Slayer or Blink. Bat Center would have been a real good synergy. I thought about it. I, I was... I was like, I can stampede out of... This one is in the oh, maybe I should have bought a Quelling Blade, actually. <laughs> pretty pretty bad at last sitting. Um, maybe another set of Tangos? Let's see how that starting lane goes. How many does he have? Six? Okay, maybe we can just depend on him to give us some. I was thinking about it. But I think part of me just wanted to play Dragon Knight after watching him so much at qualifiers. Granted, I also saw a lot of Centaur, but I wanted to play this, you know? Play with uh, Slark's Vision rather than Battle Riders, right? By my <laughs> <laughs> Too late, we're here. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. <laughs> wish to retract your last move i'll be honest i don't really want to build a blink i want to go mage slayer manta ags but my team needs an initiator so i think i'm i think i'm contractually obligated to build to build a blink damn So she planning to leave one creep forward, but it's okay. Uh, I think I might start with Q, especially yeah, double range. So pretty hard to use our stun this lane. Crazy me. I was way too deep, just like 2v1 here. God, you're so good, dude. 
getting last hits without missing fantastic um actually you know i wonder if i'm gonna fill up on slots too fast oh shit damn well never mind double bracer maybe a wand maybe boots we'll see Game is hard, guys. Game is hard. Oh, this build's old. We gotta update. Oh, I'm gonna keep him out here. It's a little, a little hard to keep him like right by the tower. They missed it. Nice. I say as I'm about to miss mine. Oh, we got it. Three minute runes. Oops. Oh, I don't think that hit her. I don't have any mana. I'm faster though. <laughs> Alright, we'll get boots and then we'll get wand, I think. Like brown boots, wand into the power treads. Double ranged and a Luna hit. It's so hard, guys. I swear. I got that one. God. Missing a lot of easy last hit. Maybe I should use the key there. I'm gonna go bring those creeps in. Oh, I should have had that. Uh, okay, we gotta. Sorry, buddy. But we gotta prioritize this, I think. I think we're laning pretty well. Auto fill or no? All things considered. Although I understand it's a little hard to play aggressive against this Venomancer and Luna. I think I might get a second point in my passive. Well, there's a doom. It's gonna do me. You go for bottom run. Yeah, I think I want that second point. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. I'm just gonna keep the lane here rather than worry about... I'm gonna get one more point in my passive. I know I don't... It doesn't look like I need it now. Maybe I shouldn't have. But I feel like it'll help me out later. Let 
get our seven minutes. I'll stack a large cube for our ancients. Okay, rather than hold it here, I actually want to start shoving. Uh, he's going okay. Yes. Still there? Okay. Hey, bad if you, bad if you want to teleport through uh, top, and then we can smoke ink uh, the one that you want to do. I have my alt too. We can just push this tower. We do that. I'll come back. I'm just gonna go secure the eight minute. Got top. He's done store. This is a good opportunity to learn. Oops. I was scared of Puck, but actually he's like half health. Nine minute runes. The dragon waits. Just jump, please. Short tape mid, DK, we can go behind tower. Yeah, I'll come in like 20 seconds. Um, I think I'm gonna take this arcane ring for the mana since I didn't go. I'm not going mage slayer right away. Actually, this thing's like almost dead. Let's take this and then I'll TP bottom and we can maybe try to take two. Uh, play for your clan for blink. You don't have to force bottom. Like Stark's out. Don't worry about bottom. Oh, the curry. bottom two somewhere. Uh, minute room. Spells in four. Slow. Ah, damn. <laughs> that would have been sick. I didn't mean to hit that. Damn. See Slark's here. Warden's there though. Do I really go back bottom? Yes, I do actually. No, I just farm up my blink. Thank you, Dot. 
Almost have blink. Go. Oh, messed that up a little. She's tilted. They're all tilted. Oh, I'm not carrying detection either. I'm bad. Stun in two. I didn't need to overlap that stun actually. Whoa, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Happy three year anniversary for pregnancy. Hey, Seth Daddy, thank you. Juggle Flex B Shadow 618. <laughs> Browse Maple WCMD Skio Pog Chick Skio Pog Chick Skio Pog Chick Skio Pog Chick. Skio Pog Chick indeed. Thank you so much for the long time support, Seth Daddy. Practically a founding member. Do you have a tier 2 neutral? No, it's actually so early in the game. Am I about to feed? Alright, next time we're thinking about doing this build... I didn't think about the fact I would need detection, so I should have should have not bought so many small items. And at the same time, maybe it's fine, you know, we use it to uh, have a good lane and sell them off. Do I really need detection right now, you know? Okay, Ancients are slower than I thought they'd be. Maybe because I didn't take my 15 damage talent. This GK pick, man. Fuck. <laughs> All right, they used their ult earlier on Marana, so I don't think I'm. I don't think I need to have anything ready, like detection-wise. I can't tell if I'm under leveled, or I'm just like I'm joining too many of these fights because we're like LMAO, they're donezo, you know. I think I am a little. See, she's still playing the game. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, no, she has no items. All right, we're good now. I believe now.
Should I go defend my tier one? Still not level two, level two ult. Whatever, I guess we don't need it. But I really want it before I use my ult again, guys. You know what I mean? Whatever, we got this. All right, hands up. I just like, you know, what's up guys? Backpack the blink for Bracer. Oh, very true. You know, we weren't doing anything. We we're just AFK hitting neutrals. Oh, I did forget about the... I know the, the new recipe is so weird. I'm not used to it either. Ah, I'm glad. Ein plan. Thank you. Uh, is any chance you see he's commenting ESL Birmingham? I don't- oh shit. <laughs> um, I don't know about ESL Birmingham specifically. I do hope to get to do more. Um, from... Honestly, I mean Venom Morana in a pub, like, it's fine guys. Like, Venom actually has a really high win rate. Marana is, like, considered pretty bad, but, like, whatever for a pub. Um, I do hope to do more. I think there is at least something coming up. I don't... I don't know what I'm allowed to, like, reveal or anything. I don't know how this works. I've never, I've never done any of this. But I think there's at least something that I'm going to do with Ricky um, down the line in February. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's give a commend here. He didn't like my DK pick, but like, whatever. He wasn't even that toxic about it, even though it's like, I don't know, maybe like, you know, hit him with dislike, you know? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just farming guys, you know, like I don't, I don't need him to do anything that much. I get it though. He wants to be bad writer. And I was trying to think of like what we can pick to be more aggressive. But, like, you want to be a melee hero with Batrider, ideally, with a stun, and yet there's already a Venomancer 5. Like, what's actually the pick? Like, what could I have possibly picked that allows aggression into a Venomancer 5? It's so tough, I feel like. Let's go look at the position 3 off lanes. Um, I can't play Mars. We've seen that before. Maybe it could have worked. Like, I can spear from afar, or when they run at me, we can, like, spear them back. Doom, I guess. Doom and Centaur, maybe. Like, if I keep running back and forth, I could have stomped and, like, gotten some kills that way. It would have been a little easier than with a, a Dragonite, at the least. Oh, maybe Magnus. If I was a Magnus player, we could have done it. That's the thing, though. Like, I can maybe play Doom and Centaur and then Dragonite, but that's about it. Also, after watching the qualifiers, I'm moving Dragonite up. I think he's going into at least C tier, if not higher. Oh, Primal. You know what? That's a good call. Primal could have worked. I haven't really played Primal very much as an offlaner, though. I, I definitely would have performed worse. Darkseer maybe could have worked. Darkseer Bat. I saw that at the uh, qualifiers, now that I'm thinking about it. That might have been good. You just... You go W, E, W, and then, like, if they step out a little too far, we just Ion Shell the Bat Rider and send him in. So maybe, maybe that could have been good. 
Yeah, I think Centaur. Centaur could have been okay. Not a fan of the Dispel route. Omni, LC, Abaddon. Maybe Abaddon or LC just because they're so good. I, I don't really like where Omni is right now as a hero. That would have survived the lane, but not really enabled the, the Bat Rider aggression. Not that my pick ended up doing that all that much, but maybe, you know, we at least had a stun and a nuke, right? Long distance, and we can, like, kind of survive through the harass. That was my mentality, along with the fact that I just wanted to play him. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, Omni, Omni doesn't really do it anymore. Rip. He's kind of bad right now. I feel like they could give that back to him. I was a little surprised they took it away to begin with. I mean, I guess debuff immunity is better in a way, but I kind of wish it still had a dispel. He's just weird. He's not very good in pubs or pro scene, but I think his pub win rate's always been okay. But what is it now, actually, since the recent changes? Is it actually still good? Let's see, where's on? Omni Knight. Oh, he's garbage, guys. He's so low, actually. Even in the lowest bracket, he's like 47.5. It actually goes up to 48.5 in Immortal, which is interesting. I wonder if because it's no longer the support Omni Knight, it's like the core Omni Knight that you need to know a little bit more how to play that the higher levels are better at. It's not the same like I press repel and no one has bought a dispel so we win a late game team fight support. More people buying mage slayer higher up <laughs> maybe yeah. Why is Wraith King in despair? Um, let's see why is he in there? I feel like I didn't see him being played that much. Maybe that's an overreaction. Maybe he could go up a bit more. Um, uh, in Dota 2 Pro Tracker, oh, let me, let me clarify. This was specifically for the professional scene. I made all of these for myself in preparation for casting. This is not considering pubs whatsoever. Uh, this is all straight up like how I thought these heroes would perform at the pro scene, which actually is kind of why he's down here. I think as a pub player, like you probably could move him up and it would be fine. But this was for like the professional scene. Now that I watched, right? We can take a moment here so we're not just chain queuing. Now that I watched a good amount of games, let's see if I would move any heroes up or down. I think I would take Drow down, not really seeing any of her. Uh, I would move Spectre down as well. Sven maybe goes up. Let's put him here. Let's think about that. I barely saw any of these heroes and certainly didn't see any hero here played as a carry, I believe. Maybe Magnus. Magnus can maybe like move up a little. Very niche, kind of like what a lot of these were. But we did see some like some Razor, Deusas. I don't think I saw any Drows. I barely saw any of these heroes played as carry. Team seem to like Alk. I might move like Troll up. I feel like I saw a good amount of Troll. Anti Mage has some like good matchups. In terms of, like general carry, maybe Naga or Naga. I feel like I saw a decent amount of Naga. Okay, what about tier two or like position two? Um, I'd say that's about right. I would move Dragon Knight up based on the performances I saw, but I do recognize that no one is usually looking to NA and SA to set the meta, so I didn't really watch WEU games uh, and the other regions just because of you know like the scheduling. So, uh, you know maybe he shouldn't be up here. But from the games we saw, I thought he looked like pretty good. No one picked OD in the end. I I really thought he would be like better, but he's no he on paper it seems good, but just no one seemed to be doing it. Uh, I'll leave him here for now. Who else would I move up or down? Maybe Wind Ranger goes up. She's a good response to others.
Didn't see much death profit. Maybe that might go down a little. Uh, pretty much didn't see any of these heroes played in the mid lane, nor any of these. Maybe I think I saw Pugna mid once. Huskar might go up. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of heroes he's good against. But, like, if that's not in the case, then he sucks, right? So I don't know where he should go because of that. He's like a cheese pick. I'll just leave this for now. Okay, off lane, I do think these two are probably the best. I think Mars maybe makes a case to move S tier. I think all of these off laners were really solid. Um, maybe. Maybe Kunkka would go down a little. We didn't see very much Kunkka off lane. Or Lone Druid. But I feel like Lone Druid works as a cheese pick. But maybe because of that, he like goes down here, right? No one's like really prioritizing him. I think Lycan maybe should go up one. Not that I saw him that much, but. Okay, support. This feels right. This feels. Tusk maybe goes down a little. Bat Rider maybe goes up. What is this position for? Depends on the team. This feels about right. I think I might, maybe some of these heroes like go back and forth. But I mean, right now, everyone's picking from like SNA tier, right? So like, I don't even know, like there's enough games to judge the BCD tier heroes. Almost everyone's playing like this. You can't possibly ban out like this many supports. It's almost always this mix. And then like some teams are gyro teams. Some, the SA teams pick undying versus the strength offlaners. Yeah, I'll just leave it as is. Let's go play another game. Invoker? Uh, it depended on the team. Some teams do it, some don't. But most players can play Doom. Most mid players, I mean. Medusa and LD up for position one. I think it depends on the game. Like, I think some games they work. And in that sense, you could maybe move it up. I guess when I compare them to the other heroes in this tier, it kind of makes sense to move them up. I feel like there's a big jump from like S and A, and then B is like, okay, in the right game, depending on the draft. And then there are very few picks in the D tier. What are we, position five? Let's try Enchantress, let's do it. But we still need to get Nature's Band off is the thing, right? All right, let's ban them ourselves. Yeah, Hoodwink's really good as a four. Why good four but bad five? So I mean, you could do it. This might this might not go great, guys. Let's, let's see. Um, Hoodwink spells just shove the lane in, right? Like she plays a lot around Acorn Shot in the laning stage, and that just naturally shoves in the lane, which you don't really want to do as a position five. She also scales quite well off of a couple different item builds such as like Mage Slayer, right? A lot of Hoodwinks really want to buy Mage Slayer first item. But as position five, you know, like kind of need a Glimmer, kind of need a Force Staff, like who's going to buy it? Or like they look at the Hoodwink and she's like, she's like holding her Blitz Knuckles and her, her like <laughs> working on her Oblivion Star. She's like, uh, I'm buying a Mage Slayer, you know? <laughs> so 
that's the uh i feel like that's part of her problem like the item build she wants to do and the farm she wants just doesn't lean towards position five but like sometimes you will see some people flex it like if they absolutely have to Who's the position for? Techies. Or I guess it could be tiny. All right, let's see how this goes, guys. I think we'll start with heal, potentially, against the techies. He's going to be harassing a lot. I feel like you start with a stick, too. Merciless, yeah, it's very, it's very new. I mean, we had done it casually a little bit, but that was, that was essentially the first, I guess technically second, like official casting I had done. Uh, so yeah, very new. Hopefully, we'll get to do more in the future. Sure. Skip ahead. Everybody, gonna block the hard camp. I think we're just going to like poke in the laning stage with nature's attendance because techies and centaur they bring in a lot of damage so I think I want the heal then we'll try to remember to stop at three points and enchant I guess there's also a small chance it's witch doctor did that guy just ward here I didn't click him fast enough no he still hasn't okay he's trying to fake me out My teammates place really good vision tops. So I'm going to go up there. Spike. Oh. Hmm. Well, we'll unmute and see see what happens, huh? Yes. It's a hop, skip and a jump. It's in the bag. Okay. About to be a slug fest up here. I actually don't know if we're the stronger level one team, really. Ready or not, here I come. Five people up here, lol. I'm gonna have to TP bottom anyway, so I'm gonna be up here to try to help my help them. Just getting some good harass. Okay, that should help our offlane out a little bit. I think we'll get a lot of wand charges this game. Items there for a moment. How many tangos did he buy? I spring. Boink. Prancing on. Be careful of the new caress here, level two. What about another set of tangos? I want to go for that range, but it's too scary, I think. Uh -huh. oh, damn, guys, so close. Hang on. 
Lotus is coming up. Damn, that last range is so large nowadays. Tried to walk it into the range creep. Nice. He's gonna try to blast off, get this. I'm gonna be over here. <laughs> I'm on to you. I don't pause for that tiny. I mean, he's not on my team. I ain't gonna do it. Do I get this? I don't think I do. I think I might have to pop heal here pretty quickly. We have two heals though. I think we're okay. <laughs> Who's getting it? I'm pretty sure Teggy's gets the deny here. This guy in the middle of stomping. I can't tell. I think he's like beginning. He's like lifting. He's activating his core to like pick up the front. He was not. I actually wanted to grab that creep, but I wasn't sure if he would get his health back. Ah. Uh. I tried to Lotus him in time. We did not make it. Wow, oh, that wasn't even the techies blast off. We're not being great at uh, what's her name right now, Enchantress. Oh, hell yeah. Get in here, creep. What are you bound to? Do I Lotus thing to give it mana? On. Yes. Nimbly I go. Can Lotus you come here? Gambling on. Get him. Does it not heal others? Oh my god. I'm learning so much about Enchantress right now, guys. It doesn't heal other people? It's just me? What? Who knew this information? Who had this secret knowledge? It says any friendly units nearby. That's what I thought. How come it didn't look like it was healing him? Is it because it's level one and he's like actually a really tanky guy? Seven minute runes. Shit, this guy's getting kind of low. Creeps following me. I hope he gives up. Yeah. Forging. 
Peggies? Damn. Courier. Fortunately, Centaur's not looking at me and trying to cut me off. Otherwise, I think I might be in trouble. Damn, it's too tanky. Midas? No, no, no. Uh-oh. How's Kunkka doing? Alright, Kunkka's doing well. We'll try to play off of him. Uh, probably didn't give the best lane to PL. I just not have a bottle. I need to bottle refill this guy. We'll just run out. I'm a little low level. Let's race. Camp mid. It's true. I kind of do want to play around mid. Creep. Yes. Nice, nice. Oh, I'm such a pro, guys. Look at this. Now I'm taking towers with creeps. I'm playing Pal World and Dota. Would they expect this at this stage? All right, ganking top might be useless, actually. I don't know. It's really tough. Need... No, he doesn't have a bottle. I forgot. Ah, oh, shit, guys. That's the wrong creep. I didn't want this one. Yes. He's got boat and whatever. Okay, I'm going to go sit mid a little. That's a very interesting ward you got there. I saw it. I had to put that pal down. It's a hot skip and a jump. Spoink. Enchanting. Here I come. Don't hit this guy. I need him. Give me level six. Yes. Five year long TP. I grow so hard. Where the hell's Mage Slayer? Minute rune coming up. Mm, he doesn't have much time left. I'll just send him down. One more spawn. Yeah, nice. 
What do you have? Blink? No. <laughs> Probably not very worth it. Lol. Did my courier die? Oh no, that wasn't mine. Woo. I'm get more points in impetus, then I would actually have the damage. Okay, I shouldn't be doing this. I should just go get this other tier one tower. How's my untouchable icon red? So it's one of the lucky crimson drops I got from going to TI. I actually got the Witch Doctor one as well, but I figured I would actually... I was more interested in playing Enchantress than Witch Doctor, so I actually sold that one. And I used it to buy Pal World. Great investment. Back up. I'll run you down. Mm, I'll just stay here by the time I leave and come back. All right, let me grab let me grab this rune and then we can go. Nimbly I go. Jug is pretty tough for us though. Hi, tailing it. Your mid tower's in a bit of a bind. Uh, Jug's a tough kill though. We need Lion for that for sure. Let's race. Your mid tower's. Go, go, go. Yeah, they're coming up. Hey, come here, come here. Kill Yarn, I have Orchid. Oh, he's got Orchid. Yarn, Yarn, Yarn first. Your mid tower is wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Leave it, get out. Skip ahead. It's oh god, it's so stupid. I really wanted to go snipe that healing ward. It's a really tough kill. Wave coming in. 16 minute runes though, maybe. Sprank? Try to sneak back here real quick. Tower needs a little help. Yes. Your mid tower. So you might as well stomp for the damage. I'm not using this for anything.
Chugs by himself if we can get this. Oh, that's so close. Ooh, can get X. Oh, there it is. I don't know what people take here, actually. I'm just gonna level up W again for the DPS, I guess. Farm ancients. Forging. Oh, no, turn that off. The boys! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> oh shit. Oh damn, we got Grove Bow though. Sick. Oh, Zach, shouldn't you be buying like support stuff? No way. We're going straight core, guys. Straight core. Okay, we got him in the end. Whew. That's scary. Drums might be kind of good. I, I wouldn't mind getting drums. But I want the Hurricane Pike because I can force staff teammates away from, like, cask and stuff. Are you kidding me? He's stuck? Oh, if I could get there for the dispel, that would have been big. I'll get the four staff first, guys. I'll be a good. Oops, this hellbear has just been like over here. Nimbly I go. Back. Let's race. How enchanting. Yes. Uh 
Okay, you know what? I'm not being with the team enough. I'm gonna just like run with them. I'm getting too caught up in trying to like farm and stuff. I just follow this Kanka. It's just my job. I should be here. Uh oh, uh oh. Glad he's not mad at me, guys. All right, time to test something. Does this give him full health? It does. Reaction times. I have them sometimes. I swear. Yeah. The other All missing? Kind of scary. Must have been oh my god, guys. <laughs> so bad. Was the change to this as well that I get XP on creeps that I use it on? No one wants me to have a creep. Let me tank. I think they know we're roaching. Just trying to get this instead. Bro, what is, is this guy hacking or what a read, dude? Holy shit. I don't think he's actually hacking, but I don't know. Maybe that's the kind of shit that's like, damn. Hacker? 
Hacker Man here in our own game? That is the sickest read I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't know. Is Grove Bowl better than Enchanted Quiver? Yes. Keep him nearby for the Hurricane Pike. It wasn't necessary. <laughs> oh shit! Alright, we're good. I'll go take the front, I guess. Alright, pretty decent game, I gotta say. For us, first enchantress. Are we on a three win streak? Ah. Wait, where's my? Oh, here. I'm blind. <laughs> I didn't even use my hurricane pike once. Don't need the true strikes of Grovo. Might have been better consistency. That's true. It just feels like there's so much damage in the the Q when you like throw it out from the Enchanted Quiver, but you're probably right. The consistency might be better for the other ones. Hmm. Okay. Should you get a commend just for the sake of that sick ass stun? Yeah, like the Midas is weird, but I think he, I think he was actually playing. I think it was a legit he needs the recovery Midas mindset. All right. Okay. Okay, I don't think he was toxic, that's why. We'll commend based on the game, not what people come in pre-muted for. We honestly didn't give him the best lane. We did help Kunkka a bit with the rotations. That part I think was good, and we tried to like do runes and stuff, which was overall good. But I do think my laning could have been better. Mm, what else? Um. Oh, uh, once we had a decent start, I should have just followed Kunkka around. I was like farming other things. That was bad. That was really bad. We need to we need to stick to Kanka. Okay, this 
I re I'm regretting my I'm regretting my tip, guys. Yeah, like I get it. Midas is weird, but he's oh, I see like flaming after the fact. Well, I guess it's better than flaming in the fact. So, uh, is it? Maybe. Yeah, once this once this is available, we'll do it. Oh, it looks like an ad is playing. I don't want you guys to miss it. That'd be funny. Rampager bust. I have so few rampages in my life. Where can I see my stats? Not on my profile, because I didn't put them here. Wait, where is it? What happened to those stats? Where are they? Can't see it anymore. Rip. Oh, there's a toggle. Fantastic. I didn't even know they added that in, but they definitely needed it. Really? There's no way? It's gone? Gonzo? I guess so. This right here changed my life. Actually, I didn't even end up playing then. I tried it and then I left. <laughs> Came back years later. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. I wanted to see... I wanted to try to find our... What about here? What are the odds it's in this one? No, it doesn't look like it. Is it like somewhere in our stats now? Battle stats, maybe? All time... Doesn't look like it's anywhere. Hmm. Too bad, too bad. All right, is that game available? I want to go see that lion stun. All right, here we go. Let's go take a look. The all hero challenge. Okay, I'll take a look. I'll go. I'll go check. It was right after we did Roshan, which I did not ping. Okay, yeah, here, here, here. All right, so I was queuing from point blank. I think he just did it, guys. Sick impetuses. He blinks out. He just throws it. Holy shit, guys. Actually nuts. What a catch. Oh, it seems a bit sus. I mean, I get it. At the same time, right, if Jug is going to get out, cutting into trees and trying to TP is not the craziest thing. If you have a good awareness of where all the juke spots are, right, like... You can just throw it. And in a lot of games, you'll miss. And then they just get out, right? It's true. It's kind of, you know, like, weird. But I... 
I'm willing to I'm willing to like believe that we happen to see the very rare, very lucky, like here's a juke spawn, just like why not? YOLO stun. And he got it. What was I just about to check? Oh yeah, you guys were telling me maybe it's in the history. Hero stats. Oh, what's this? Uh, the all hero challenge. Teammates? No. All right, too bad. Looks like rampages are lost into the void. I think some of those stats were bugged anyways, like rampages. So. All right. Um, I mean, we're going to keep going. I know you guys just watch ads, but actually, since I'm about to step away and get water and stuff, I feel like I might as well run them again so that they won't show up in the game. So apologies for that. But I'm not here anyway, so you're not missing anything. We'll play another game as soon as I'm back. Oh, look at that. Huh. I don't even remember reporting these people. It's been so long. Feels good. All right, chat. How are you guys doing? I've been a little focused in these games. I don't feel like I've been talking with you guys. How's everyone up doing? I didn't stream for like the last five days or something because we were doing all the casting. Yeah, FedEx, that was me. Yeah, yeah. The voice was a little different. I don't know what happened. The audio quality just like dropped going through the Discord. 
and it's weird because like not even it didn't even affect the other casters like all of them like i went to go watch others and i was like why is mine the worst <laughs> uh, but it, it is what it is i had a decent game with dire side arc warden support yo nice I, I have not been brave enough to do it yet. Been playing Power World, same. Honestly, yesterday's quals, or like the last five days of qualifiers went like this. So it's fixed schedule, so the series starts at 11, 3, and 7. The first few days, there was a lot of NA stomps and forfeits and stuff, right? So then I'd be like, well, what do I do with three hours, you know? So sometimes eat, I took a nap once, and I'll just like play Power World. In between games, like, okay, time for the next one. Like, do that, you know? A little prep in between. Um, but yeah, like, a lot of the early games were just massive stomps. So there'd be, like, three-hour waits. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I felt very, uh, like, formal... In a way, you know, first, like, official cast, I was maybe still, like, a little bit of awkwardness and discomfort. Even though I'm glad, like, I'm already friends with Ricky, right? It would have felt weird Bam. doing a cast with someone that, like, I know, because we, well, like, we hear the casters a lot, but, like, I'm not, I don't really know them. So, at least with Ricky, like, I know the guy, and it felt like, you know, we'd done some practice casts and everything, so it didn't feel too weird. But, um... Still being on, like, the official ESL cast felt like, you know, kind of toned it down a little, played it safe a bit in how I interact, I guess, and, like, talk. But I think as we do, hopefully, like, we get the chance to do more casting, I would feel a little bit more comfortable. Because I don't think that style is exactly what I would want. Um, What do I want here? I mean, if I get Ags on DK later, I'll have the flying vision. I'll have the like the flying to not care about Nature Sprout. Doom Shiva's is also good though. Five seconds. I feel like I'd rather play DK though. Shit. <laughs> nah, good. Well, maybe maybe DK is good for that. I'll we'll try to take her towers early, and later we'll have the splash illusion damage. We'll be able to rat her ratting. Maybe it's fine. Probably need two points in our passive at least. How'd you like being on the commentators? I had a good time. Oh, sorry. Wrong item. Hold on. Before I throw, guys, give me one second. Gotta get our Quelling Blade for Nature's. Maybe only one Bracer this game. I'm thinking about, like, we're gonna have to carry this Quelling Blade for a while. Bracer wand, treads. Do we need detection? Not necessarily, but they might buy glimmers. Ah, oh, tough call. Should we just do one bracer or two? One bracer and two to three points in the passive? Let's start with the one bracer. Let's get like one bracer and wand and see how we feel. Oh, but I also need to like keep up in the last hits first this Naga. Well, whatever. Can't decide if I want breathe fire or my stun. Naga's melee. Okay, anyways, back to the, the stuff. I got a haircut right before Carnage. I was like, okay, we're gonna be on, you know, I'm willing to look sloppy for, for my own streams and videos, but. Let's try to put a good good foot forward for the official casting, you know? So, I got my hair cut. Um, I'm going to cut some trees to help Hoodwink out. But not too many trees because she needs them. Uh, so, I got my hair cut to look nice. Nicer. Actually, the front was a little shorter than I usually like, but it's whatever. Um, I tried to do some prep. I started this like big spreadsheet, this like PowerPoint essentially with like different notes on teams and their heroes. And hopefully as we get to do more casting, I'll just keep updating it throughout the patch. And over time, it'll become nicer and nicer. 
Um, for now, I'll just keep it for myself. But at, at some point, when I think it like looks decent and has like a good chunk of notes and drafting info, you know, maybe if you guys are interested, I'll make that like a public thing. Two gold. Easy two gold. Oh, looks like we're just getting one rune though. Will I need another set of tangos? I might. But I am thinking about going going double point and passive. Which is like what? Okay, I can't really I can't really read right now. <laughs> we'll take a look later. I think we can get our bracer first and see how the lane's going at that point. Three mangoes? What in the hell? That's an old build. I mean that's a good chunk of regen, right? Two points in passive. It's so annoying. The illusions are just like on top of the creep. Oh, <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> Got it anyways. Let's go. Oh shit. I accidentally clicked Naga's model. Should I creep drag these out so I can actually last hit? What am I doing? Just keep tanking tower shots for no reason. Six gold. Big denies. Same deal as earlier. I don't want to get the blink, but I think I have to. Damn. Hate to see it. I'm glad he's winning because I I can't I'm not like paying any attention whatsoever. I'm literally just focusing on last hits. Oh, I should have queued for that. Dragon. 
enough. There's too many creeps. I got to do a better job of trimming some down. Careful, he's mid. Can I get the... Oh, I thought that was the wisdom rune time. Shit. So many banner creeps here. G-top. I'm going into jungle. Uh-oh. We'll get our power treads and then maybe blink, maybe mage slayer. We'll think on this. I really want mage slayer first, but I kind of think my team needs me to get this stuff. What could I depend on? Hoodwink blink? Or hoodwink long range stun? in my lane. Can I start getting more points in Q? Oops. Missing free last hits. We're just going to start attacking a bunch because I don't want Naga to feel comfortable jungling. I don't even know what happened to my catapult wave, guys. So I'll give you soul XP and we can push this tower. Yeah, I'm pretty close to six. Got it. I meant to hit the range creep. Shit. Losing the last hits for nothing. Man, the illusions also get safety bubble, huh? Didn't know that. 12 gold. Wasn't paying enough attention to the map. They're meaning the tower ears. Man, their offlaner gets to go Mage Slayer first. I don't know. I was thinking about that jelly for the regen. I 
I vault again if we play up here. My last has been great, guys. I think they're all coming up here. Maybe I should be rotating to these. I don't know. I'm, I don't even see them happening. That's on me. Is Mage Slayer the next item? Oh, I appreciate him giving me the kill. my best I messed up all these like things different things um I think our top lane has gone okay but looks like these other side lanes have or the other two lanes have struggled um I'm trying to figure out <laughs> feels like we're in a pretty rough spot I am we're going to have to find kills off this blank, I guess, but I think we just try to find kills off the blank. If we do, we come back. If not, uh, oh well. Feels bad TPing here. I feel like I could have just walked. And I didn't even make it in time. I 
I need no steam. Stuck in here. Uh, we got what's her name? I think I need the attack speed first. So we still need to like scale up in our own way. Ooh, this one's rough. I feel okay about the way we laned, although I'm learning that pushing into a Naga was extremely difficult. We just didn't have the wave clear to deal with these illusions. I think later on in the game might be okay, but this early stage in that laning, I just could not get to that tower, even though I had a decent six timing for off lane. Like just being able to take it was really tough. Uh, what do we get? Uh, like two thirds of the health, I guess. Come on, nature, show up. I don't really feel great about fighting down there, so I'm just trying to trying to at least take this top. Any tinker? I don't think I have the damage alone. Will this game lo go long enough that I get to Naga the Naga? Level 2 alt plus Manta. You can try to split push a bit more. Bow, I guess, for the, the dragon form. A little weird. Do I need the shard first for like the wave clear to defend?
Maybe I do need the shard first. Yeah, YOLO shard, I guess. High ground defense shard. Feels bad. Too bad. Oh shit. Oh, mess that up. I shouldn't pop the ult. I mean, it doesn't really matter in this game, so whatever. But I messed up the switch to agi treads, use the heal, switch back to strength. Oh well. Could we have done this if we were Doom? I guess the W would have been better in the lane if we were Doom. And actually clear out the illusion a little better, maybe. I say mid <laughs> Oh well. Uh, what about maxing E second? I think you only need to do it in certain games. I don't know you'll see people grab more points in this early. Um, damn. I didn't think I needed it. Like... They stopped playing the lane at that point, you know, they were, um, she was just jungling and all that. I wasn't really taking any harass, so I didn't feel like I needed more points in it. I went for the other spells to try to get more damage for, for my own farming and for maybe some kill attempts, like more points and stuns. Do it, do it. Got her. She can't spot. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we never ended up getting to it because uh, the casting did happen. Uh, we finished Angle Simps picture. I don't know if we ever did Illmatic or Rav Souls picture. I don't think we did. I don't even remember what those requests were. I'm sorry, guys. Draft wise, I mean, if Tinker was a better hero, it would kind of work. He's just not a meta hero. But at least it's like we have two actual meta supports. My off lane is like slightly off meta, but like not that bad. Luna's fine. It's just a Tinker. But I. Is that like. I feel like bad draft is like anti mage five kind of thing you know not this hero isn't meta mm. but there was there was like some sl you know slight toxicity slight toxicity Yeah, I mean, we were laning decently. Top core, let's go. Ooh. 
Who's that? Thank you. Whoa. I was not watching Hoodwink whatsoever, but she got some solo week. kills. So was that your first time casting a tournament? Hey, it's Crit. Thank you. Thank you for the the prime sub. I cast some amateur stuff before, just a couple times, and then I also did I did the Chinese DPC qualifier once, like Div Two. It was like in the middle of the night, so it wasn't a very I wouldn't say it was a huge thing. This was the biggest thing I've like really done on like an official stream for sure. Uh, so yeah. I think my idea to try to get kills was pretty much the best thing we could have done, but it just didn't like quite pan out. I was like trying to watch the minimap, but they were like always together. We killed, we tried to get nature's ratting. We did try to, like, somewhere around here where the team was ready to give up. We did try to get, like, some kills. Just didn't quite pan out. Yeah, look how Naga was just left to her own devices. 13k. That makes it look like my lane was bad. But it, I don't think it was really me. You know, since we, we actually played the game. Uh, I think we can see how it's like. <laughs> These guys just snowballing, so she's just free. So, well. Let me see if we ever started those pictures. Yeah, Tinker got wrecked in lane, and then Luna was complaining about Venge, but I didn't see what happened at all, so I'm not really sure. Any recommendations or something to watch slash read on how to actually improve at Dota other than just playing the game? I, so I don't know if you've already like seen them. I do have some videos that are more, that aren't strictly about like the Dota meta, but like learning Dota. I think they should all be in the same playlist, but maybe they're not all there. Let me double check later. Beyond that, I'm sure other creators have done stuff like that, but I don't have anything off the top of my head. What am I doing? The stream pictures, right? Where are those? Who was I just looking for? Angle Simps. We finished. No, we didn't finish Angle Simps. We were in the middle of it. We were working on. Hold on. I'm like hopping from one thing to the next. Let's let's take a moment. Let's. I was working on this picture of a cool cat playing jazz. And we need to we need to redo the strings on this bass guitar. What else? Um yeah, so hey it's crit. That's that's uh those are my thoughts on that. How's my offlane brew? Awful, I'm sure. Well, does anyway, but your own game. I try, I don't do my own games usually, even though, even though it'd be the easiest because I'm in the game and I know, like, I know who I would blame. But the thing is, is that I run into these people quite a lot in NA Immortal Bracket, right? So if I. I try to do it jokingly in most of these videos, you know, but some people don't take it well. And then I'm going to get that guy quite often, you know, so I'm, I'm a little hesitant to ever do my own games. <laughs> you saw yourself. I reviewed a Hoodwing 5 and you were the position one drow. That is funny. Uh, on the replay stream, right? I don't think I released a video like doing that lately. My advice to you, okay, so like maybe this is in some of the videos, but just to like round out this topic, for Dota to improve, and it sounds like you're you're already on this track a little bit, like trying to figure out how to how to get better. Simply spamming games is not very good. You have to have a plan going into it. And depending on your MMR, but really this is applies to all MMRs, right? 
picking anything and working on that will be a great start. So for example, as a support player, a great place might, might be laning stage. And you could break down the laning stage into a lot of different things. Like, oh, I'm not harassing in the lane enough. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be very conscious of how I right-click harass and how I use my spells in the laning stage. Or maybe you do that okay, and you're like, actually, I miss every single pull, I miss every single Lotus rune, I miss all the Wisdom runes, so then you need to work on your timing. So you go into the game and you're like, I'm going to mess up other stuff, but damn, I know it's 417, and now it's 419. 420? 421? Right click harass. Oh my god, what time is it? It's 424. You know, like, you just hyper fixate on one thing at a time. So, as you watch videos on, like, what's good to do in the meta and all that, or you, like, sit down and think it through yourself, I recommend writing out a list of, like, here's things I think I need to do. I might have an example for you here. Uh, so I did this relatively... No, actually, no, it's not been recent now. It's, like, almost a year. These are all mostly true, right? I just thought, like, here's some things I might need to work on. And so I just pick a different thing from this list sometimes, and I'm like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to like not miss a single wisdom rune like i don't care if i win or lose the game if i am not aware of a wisdom rune spawning i have failed i have failed so that's my advice for improving at dota is to hyper fixate on one thing at a time it depends on the person right sometimes you can do a couple things but you need to have a plan and you need to like work on a couple things at a time you'll mess up other stuff while you do that but like you push one thing forward and then like okay now the next thing now the next thing and eventually they're all like higher than where they started. Yeah. Civilized idiot, thank you. Don't worry, my ego is huge. I'm happy to hear it as often as possible. <laughs> thank you very much. I, I look forward to hopefully doing more of it and continuing to improve at it because even while I was doing it, I felt like there was stuff I can improve on. So it's cool. It's enjoyable that way. In the same way Dota is like, oh, there's tons of stuff you can work on, right? Um, same with casting. There's a lot of different things. Okay, let's draw the strings onto this guitar, and then we'll queue up again. Uh, kind of good enough. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take this. All right. So then, whoop. Have you, have, have any of you guys ever tied your own strings? It is so annoying. I have a ukulele, so I've done it like, I don't know what order it goes. We'll just do like something like this. Um, doing your own string is a hassle. I don't know what else goes on a bass guitar. I might just leave it at that. I don't know how I'm going to make this better, actually. The guitar is just floating in the sky. What do we do now? I'm going to queue up our next game. How do I do this? What game did you cast? I did a lot of the NA qualifiers and SA qualifiers. Um... There were two streams going on for both of those at the same time. The first NA qualifiers, I was on the ESL Dota 2 Tango stream, and the next one I was on the Ember stream. So if you ever want to uh, look back at any of that, see how I did, uh, it's one of those. Put a pillow or something there. Hey, Liquid Oxygen, thank you very much. Thank you. Been about three months since you came back to Dota. Welcome back. I uh, feel like I improved a lot watching your videos. Somehow lost 500 MMR. Meanwhile, lol. Cannot figure out why. Okay, so here's the thing, right? When you come back, a little rusty at all sorts of stuff. But also, if you watch videos and you're like, oh, damn, that's a great idea. I'm going to try that. Uh, in the same way I was just telling, uh, hey, it's crit, right? As you start trying to improve, it's pushing you out of your comfort zone. And so let's say you're sitting at 2,000 MMR. You have like some good habits, some bad habits, right? As you work on something that is supposed to be good, 
it is disrupting the other things you did. And so oftentimes you will see when people try to improve, they will actually drop first. It's extremely common because you're, you're like thinking about this new stuff and it's messing everything else up you did and you're not even doing the thing you're focused on well, right? Because you're practicing it. So a lot of people go through this where they like drop for a little bit. This is not just copium of like, please continue watching my videos, do my stuff. Like I swear it's a thing. You will drop and then over time you will improve again and hopefully go back like beyond where you started. Who's the other guy in the cast? That is our cryptic. He is here sometimes. We we raid. Oh yeah, yeah. Liquid auction typed it. Um oh one extra R in there. R crypt. Wait, can I do a shout out even if he's not here? What's the command for that? I forget. Shout out. Yeah, shout out R cryptic. There we go. Yeah. Go check him out. He often streams uh other other uh like qualifier tournaments stuff like that typing is hard i am guilty of that my own my own username oops what have i done <laughs> what do i do here what if i don't do anything oh wait what did i just do this Okay, can we just like angle this guitar in some way that Okay, check this out. Oh shit. Damn it. As soon as soon as we get into something cool with the drawings, you know Val finds us a game. Damn it. All right. I'll come back to it in a bit. Oh, not that one. What are we? For support, uh, maybe Hoodwink, maybe Mage Slayer Hoodwink. Ooh, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Keep forgetting to Prime sub. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Don't Hope worry many about good it. Teammates in your future today. Thank you very much. I ah, oh, damn it. Hoodwink banned out. Um, Tiny. Should we just be Nages again? I mean, shit. He's in here. The time. The time is coming to an end, right? Like, surely a patch is coming that will take him out. We should we should get in the last last little bits. Um, thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Pretty much most people do. I appreciate. Uh, Cryptic took some time to make sure you had the pronunciation correctly for the casting. <laughs> I appreciate that. I don't think I'll build crit. Um, Solar Crest. Sorry, not Solar Crest. Spirit Vessel looks good. What are we playing into? Undying and Slark, I guess. Pretty annoying. I guess we can leave the camp open. I don't have to block the small camp, but instead I should block, I should open up that hard camp. And then we'll just poke away, I guess. Ooh, should we do... Ooh, 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 okay, okay. I've got the plays here, guys. We're gonna buy a second century, we're gonna do some stuff. We just have to be careful of not getting found by Slark as we do this. So I go. 
Do I have this guy muted? No. I am thinking of trying to block their creeps a little bit to get it the first wave under tower. Is that cool with you? Okay. This Lark there? Okay, that means we're good. This is going to work out. We're going to sneak this way. Oh, my team got the first blood. Let's go. I thought that was like someone here dying. Pudge did not die. Excellent. All right, check this shit out, guys. We're going to go put the sentry here. It's going to it's gonna pull the creeps in. I'm actually not sure the exact... I think it's like here. Lame. No one's here. Got a feeling this is Disappointing. <laughs> no, wait. He didn't, uh... <laughs> uh... It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it worked, it's worked. <laughs> No worries, no worries. So the mistake that happened there is I, I like did that sentry block, then he like body blocked, which like kind of countered a little, but it's okay. It worked enough that uh, that uh, <laughs> we're back. Pudge is, uh, or not Pudge, Undying is going for these double the case, super annoying. So we just can't let him... Oh, he actually blocked this, it looks like, so. And he sees his camp's blocked. Of course I blocked your camp. Please. I'll get this denied XP at least, okay. Maybe he'll deny his own sentry. That'd be great. Uh, I was hoping he'd put it on this side. It's too dangerous for me to check it. It's probably like over here. I'm doing something stupid, guys. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. My shaggy bark. Shady I meant to queue to... I'm gonna get boots first, I think. The urn's actually not that urgent. No, actually, I don't think I will. Oh, it's too late. I will. I was gonna get boots first to just, like, kite around this stuff more. But I kind of regret that, and I should have gotten... Should have gotten my urn first anyways. Oh, this might be too dangerous. Uh-oh. Might be next. On my way. Mm. 
Naturally. Just like jungle back here for a moment. In green I go. Hmm. Actually, so useless. Thought I could do it a little more effectively than this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Damn. I thought I thought I could get that in and out. Oops. Maybe I don't want Spirit Vessel against Slark. I mean, still good against the others though. So I think I will. Snap fire bottom. Oh, it's not. Yeah. I'm gonna help with the six minute rune. Uh, go for top rune, I can TP for bottom, or vice versa, whatever. The wild is calling. <laughs> Damn, it's top. Nature calls. Yeah. Wisdom runes. Yo, get this creep, get off me. What are you following me around for? Why do you even do these stacks? Actually, I don't know. I better not do more. Just Josh. Zachary, where were you? I was looking up. all over for you. Hey, Rommel. I was here. Been here for about a week in a row now. Uh, really even more than that if you think about it. I barely leave this place. <laughs> Shit! Yes! No ulti on the Sark. Oh, I'm so glad she died before I did. Oops. The healing is too good. Does she have any more leaps? No. She went all in on it. Oh well. Come on, come 
Damn. How did that happen? I can't believe that fight worked out. Nice. It's crazy. Such a long fight. Clark is very farmed, by the way, so just careful for that. Got a nice team this time, guys. See if we can stack in time. I answer the wild's call. Did I seriously trap the other one? How? It's stacked? What in the hell happened to that creep? Oh, Pudge hooked the other one. Never mind. Okay, okay. I was so confused for a second there. I just jungle this myself. Considering it. Three hero stop. In green, the seeds of fortune. Trying to hit him so that he can't use his whatever. <laughs> We're all applying like so many different dots. <laughs> oh, nice. We're all trying to prevent him from jumping again. <laughs> Just throwing out every single spell. <laughs> hit mid. Slark definitely is a problem a bit. But unavoidable. I mean, that was an undying Slark lane. Very, very tough lane matchup. It's always going to be tough. Actually regret being here. Run, run, run. Oh, actually, it's better than I thought. Oh, -ho! nice. Uh, probably need to four staff to deal with some of this stuff. It's a really good four staff game, even though I'm position four. Don't usually like to get that, but I think it's really good this game. Uh, tempting. Um, and safety bubble so good, but I really want to be greedy. I want to be an asshole. I TB literally to just try to kill that courier guys to prevent him from getting that item. Did not quite pan out. Ew. 
Oh, nice. Pretty scary against the Monkey King. Um, I'm probably gonna grab one point in my E here, actually. I should have done it earlier against a Monkey King. On my way. I should have known. Oh, yes. Oh, actually, if none of us. Okay, Marana died, but actually, everyone else got out. Oh. I cursed Jakiro. Sorry, Jakiro. I was gonna say when I saw Snapfire moving like that, I should have known that it was too. The other fellas aiming to wreck your bottom tower. Sylvan shade. Now we should have altered sooner. Damn. All right, it's worth it. Naughty, 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 naughty. I think I just killed that courier. In five years, I'll kill this tombstone. Body block for me. Thank you. There's two kills a minute in this game. It's ridiculous. Maybe I should have gotten a shard before. Oh, value scout. There's three over here. Found you again.
scared of no monkey king. I'm gonna do the right talents this game because of Monkey King. Twenty minute runes. Oh, I'm not gonna get that stack. Just gonna grab that. Move, move, move. Oh, guys. See that four staff? Absolutely devastated that man. 21 minute runes. What are the. Oh, can we do it? What do you guys think? Slark? Uh, okay. I'm <laughs> suddenly feeling a lot less good about trying to steal that wisdom rune. Which way's he going? Oh, we don't have. Oh, I think I could have actually. Damn, I should have. I should go grab this for myself, actually. Hope it's not stolen. My hidden paths, your top towers hurt now. Ooh. Wait. Wait, guys, light collector against Monkey King? I already have four staff and E though. But isn't it so tempting? No Slark, no Slark. <laughs> Wrong direction. One more auto attack from this? Damn. Oh, guys, I misplayed that. I could have done so much more, I feel. Oh, if I had taken the Grove Bow earlier or something, it might have worked. I don't think we actually need the Light Collector versus Monkey King because I'm going to take the right cooldown talents on Nature's Call. So we'll just go, we'll just go Grove Bow. And I think I, if I had Grove Bowed sooner, I would have actually... I would have actually killed Snapfire faster and then maybe that Dawnbreaker too. But funnies, I know, I'm the content creator in me wishes I had taken the other one. Maybe Orchid's better this game. By my shaggy bark. They should be removed from this playlist. It doesn't make any sense. Invisibility. Removed from this playlist. Oh, I should have stacked. I'm hooking haste up here. I hooked it for you.
What on earth? Oh, I should not have come. I should have left. Uh, oh well. He actually, he was actually doing such an insane amount of damage. I thought we could do it, but I should have left. Should have gone in. We could have just pushed top. Never mind. Isn't Publes better than Grobo? I think that magic resistance reduction is really good for the build I went. And for the teammates I have. Like, he has a Shiva's. I have a Jakiro, right? Like, I think the, the damage is really good. We're kind of like snowballing deaths. Uh-oh. Me next. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I should have done low ground. Silly me. Should be very careful of Monkey King. Kill the Dawn and then take Rush. But almost feel bad for your top tower with a wild spirit. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh man, they're fast. They all came so quickly. I feel like some armor items better actually. Maybe I should get drums so we can all run out of Monkey King ult. Drums into like Boots of Bearing. And kill Tombstone. Okay. I'm selling myself on this. I think I like it more. Oh, damn, I was just about to go in there with that. Do you think? Circles up here. Damn. That's gonna be able to wand and force death, I think. Uh, Roshan, 30 seconds down here. Yeah, go, Rush. 
Do I need a hex? I can do it after this boots stuff, I guess. <laughs> I can't help myself. He he doesn't get banned. It's like I gotta, you know. <laughs> I can't resist. I'll go deal with mid for my team. So I go. He's gonna be nerfed soon, and he's gonna die off, guys. I have no mana. This and is then, if they come. and then what? I thought this was the banner. I thought I got the banner creep last time. Back. I regret buying back. <laughs> Slark at fifty two stacks. Ah, oh, shit. It was kind of close. Thought maybe we could help. I think we all died. Uh, no mana. Yeah, he mentioned that earlier. We shouldn't have fought Randy there. I thought. Well, and dying was top. I thought maybe we could do it, but. Oh, well. I think he was. I think he died. Does Mage Slayer Pierce BKB? No. I don't think it does. We're struggling with this. The Shadow Pact and the Shroud. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Totally intentional block. Come, come. My hidden paths. I know it seems funny, guys, but I'm about to buy this and the recipe won't matter anymore. Or the charges won't matter, so. Spirit. 
so I go. My hidden paths. Stay here, see if anyone comes by to look. I'm very scared right now. Undying courier going up, careful. Good shit, guys. Good shit. No mana, no mana. Buy my shaggy bar. In Sylvan Shaggy. Sprout leashes might be good this game. I gotta be careful not to lose this gem. Uh, can we get out? They're all spawning. This is already good for us. Yeah, get out there. Nature calls. Nature's wrath upon you. We should go leave this gem in base, I think. They don't have any invis. Did I ping Roche? I did not. Seventy five attack range along with like the extra hit is uh Alright, forget that. We've already got tier four. I didn't even realize I was waiting so long. Rat item? Hilarious. Ninja gear? Uh I'm gonna get trickster's cloak to stay alive. Should I keep this gem? I don't know. Corn. I should be careful. All we need to do is like fight together, I think, from here. that in right now. Oh, I didn't even get to hear it. Nice. Shaggy 
Not the ancients, guys. Get in the lane. Think, creeps. Think. I swear to God. Hilarious. Yeah, Slark. Slark got wrecked there at the end. Casual gem is nice, but it's just scary since we have the invis on our team, right? I don't want to give it away for free. Where's the NA throw? For a moment, when he was bringing him into Fountain, I felt it there a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we had a pretty nice team. Communication, we're good to go. I think the way we played that game was pretty good. I like that we tried to disrupt that lane with that uh, early creep block. Didn't get any couriers, unfortunately, but what can you do? Um, some decent early rotations to help out top, which I think they were winning anyways, but I mean, there's not much we can do bottom. I didn't think there'd be much we could do mid, but actually we did rotate in and get one kill. <clears throat> this is about what I'd expect. It's nothing against like Pudge. It's just like that matchup, right? So I think that's honestly <laughs> pretty playable from there. Pudge just needs to land hooks. So. <clears throat> Tried a few games of Pugnut, having trouble figuring them out. What makes him strong right now and what's my role in a team fight besides heal, disarm if needed? Jimmy Bruchon? Bruchon? Bruskian. <laughs> um, so I think Pugna is a little easier the higher up you go. I think laning stage, you're pretty annoying. Long range, poke, 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 some blast, stuff like that, right? Uh, you can like interrupt pulls with the Krebify sort of save depending on your laner it could be a damage amp right the part that struggles in pub games is that your ultimate can heal not just health but mana so the reason pro teams like him a lot is because the laning stage we just talked about is really solid and then and then you're just like let's go 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 right pango blah, 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 you know like spit uh, like Storm Spirit, blah, you know, whatever. You're just topping everyone up on mana, and they just like, vroom, 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 go, go, go. And you get to play this higher tempo because you have Pugna. And then, of course, in the team fights, you know, the healing, the decrep save, stuff like that, right? There's general utility there. But that's the part that's like rough in pubs, which is you're like, you show up to the, the lane, you're like, blah, blah, blah. okay, you're topped up, let's keep going. He's like, mm, I don't know, like, I don't really want to leave my lane, you know? And it's like, 
Oh. And then if that doesn't happen, it just feels pretty bad. I I think. I I mean Pugna at least you do like some decent damage yourself early on if you have a good game and you can push towers. So that part I think it's still okay if you want to play Pugna support. But to me that is a key difference of the pros prioritizing Pugna and then the pub reality of trying to play Pugna. It's just that tempo element is a little bit missing. Having just played with it, what are your thoughts on mid Marana? I still don't think it's like that great of a hero. Ooh, who's that? Thank you. Whoa. What it offers is the same as what it did in the past, but just the early damage is really weak compared to where it used to be. But like in a pub game, a stray arrow wins games, right? We won a couple of fights off of good arrows. It's like, you know, it is what it is with that. <laughs> so. Have you tried Urn Rush Enchantress? No, but we just tried Enchantress earlier. I'm definitely going to play it more. I, I meant to play it anytime I was position five, which actually was only once this game, I think, right? Oh, no, twice. We did play one Nature's Five. I can't help it. Can't help it. Oh, Jimmy, thank you. I appreciate the sub. Feel free to ask anything for free, not just because you're subbed. I mean, you could have done anyways, but I appreciate the support. Thank you. Um... Any good sources on position two? I don't know. It's like inconsistent from what I know. I don't think there's a... a as far as I know, I, I don't know of a mid lane content creator who is constantly releasing videos. Am I forgetting someone? I Annihilate has lately started to do a little bit more, I feel like. Um, mid or Meepo? No, not him. Sorry. Meep Meepo player. There we go. A lot of people with Meepo names. Um He streams mid. I know his name's Meepo player, but he does play other heroes. Um, but I don't think he like makes content for it as much. Besides, like, you're free to ask him on stream and there's a good chance he'll answer. Am I forgetting anyone, chat? Why NP not first in line of your hero grid offlane section? I think he's a better support. As an offlaner, like, I think I could just to, to match the rest of this. He's here not because I think he's a good mid or carry, but because if I had to play mid or carry, he's probably one of the best heroes I could play for that because I am comfortable with the hero, and even though I'm uncomfortable with the role, like, I could do that. But offlane, there's other things I could play because I feel more comfortable in the offlane because I've played it a decent amount lately. So I don't feel like I, I would have to go to him. But for the sake of the draft screen for now, we can put him back here. My dude, thank you. Thank you very much. There's a recent Stormstormer coaching on Grubby's channel. There you go. That sounds good. You don't like Venge? I think she's a great hero. I myself playing her don't love it as much. I I was complaining. I was crying for this hero to be good because I wanted to I wanted to work on leveling up this this set. It's dope, right? And then I haven't been playing it. <laughs> I have not been playing Venge. Maybe we should. Maybe we should play more Venge support so that we can we can actually like level up this set because it's such a sick set. Yeah, she's a good hero. I just haven't really been playing it much. Three sixteen. All right, let's play one more game and then we'll do the the replays for the rest of the stream. How are we doing today? If we lose, that's fine. We're still up two for the day. Good position to be in. Yeah, I think it's a great set. Are we grinding right now? Kind of, but also just I watch so much Dota doing all the ESL casting, and that makes you want to play, you know? So... That's more Who's what that? it is Thank than anything. Whoa, whoa. Oops. 
No, that's not what I wanted. This. Here we go. Resting grounds. Thank you. Appreciate the prime sub. You were casting? Yeah, I got to cast a little bit. Uh, we were casting the open open qualifiers on our own stream for fun, funsies and practice, and then closed qualifiers I got to do with uh, with Ricky. Uh, what is going on with this? Oh, it's on a different layer. No wonder why. Goodbye, arm. I think it should, like... Oh, how do I do this actually? Time to ban. Maybe like it comes out this way. And then hold on. Let me see what I'm picking real quick. I am hard support. We'll be Venge. So we can we just talked about working on that set. I didn't ban nature, so I think I'm gonna greatly regret this. But I'll pick Venge. Doesn't that arm seem a little short now, though? Oh, wait, this arm's supposed to be, like, down here anyhow. Isn't it? Well, he could be using his leg for that. That's kind of funny. I think I kind of like that. Let's go with it. All right, let me see what's happening in our game. Our off lane's disconnected. Oh, we can swap him out of trees. That'll be funny. Ah, we're getting arc wardened. Well, we won an arc warden game earlier, so the good news is that we can maybe swap arc warden in to get him killed. The bad news is that we're getting arc wardened. Wait, is this core or spirit? And we're back. This is the issue. I wasn't watching the draft. I don't know who was picked first. And there's an invoker. All right. We'll buy more tangos. Wait, how do I actually level up this set? How the heck do I do this? I have to swap teammates or what? I think it's teammates. Alright, let's try to do Roche timers this game. We were really bad about it. Who's my laner? Wraith King? Maybe we start W for the the uh, what's it called? Creep securing. We get some nice negative armor synergy at least. I'm scared of this arc warden though. As you wish. Thirty seconds to go. It's in the bag.
Just gonna make sure they don't fight me here. Mm, he's using it to block the creeps. Um, this sucks. Got to make sure this camp spawns. The time has come. Damn, not there either, huh? I need that camp to spawn because of what they did. I got to be able to pull like ASAP. Yes. What the hell's line is this? I don't remember this at all. I don't know where their observer is, but it's somewhere down here. But I can't really... So tempted, guys. Have you invaded? I'm level two. Get the hell out of here. I just kind of let line hit me a bunch there for nothing. I messed that up actually. I didn't didn't think we could actually kill him, so I didn't didn't commit sooner, but I should have just like W'd right off the bat. Lotuses? I am not I'm trying to like sneak around these creeps. I don't think he's paying attention to the time. Great. Give him that XP for nothing. Get off me. Do it, dive me, dive me, dive me. This is a good opportunity. Damn. Vengeance flies beside me. Blood. <laughs> Line missing, careful. I gotta be really careful of this actually. Yeah, for this reason right here. But this guy's not affected by negative armor, otherwise this would probably be a kill guaranteed. It's really close. I want 
to build triangles or arc? Here for the line over here. Invoker TV. Ah, shit, guys. I'm so close to being able to cancel that. my team could use the stuns which what am i doing do we just get the rune okay thank goodness being dumb i think i want arcane boots versus invoker lion although granted i have a guy who's also gonna do that never mind my team's like i need playing dota so i'm here seven minute runes coming up I don't have too much mana. Ah, uh, if I had enough mana there, maybe we get a kill faster. I did yell it out at least. Maybe I should be more specific though. I said I don't have a lot of mana, but I've been like, you know, don't have my spells. Uh oh, that's bad. I have mana now. Tell you what, never again will this happen to me. Oh, I wish I had. Team got right? Oh, yeah, get him, boys. Get him, get him. The other fellas can save the top tower. No way this is warded already. Let my vengeance soar. Yes. The other fellas aim to wreck the bottom tower. If you I need to get my level six. I'm very close. Your bottom tower's in a tight spot. This is so risky. That was greedy of me to do that, but uh, we'll call it space making because they killed Arc Warden. No, it was griefing, guys. Griefy, griefy. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to build. I feel like if I can swap Arc Warden out, that's huge for my team. Ah, I was pressing these. Damn. Now my guy doesn't have enough mana for anchor smash. Reduce everyone's damage. Oh, he does. Look at all these freaking... 
Wraith. Oh shit, Wraithing's just in here. Going Midas. Fighting. That's wacky. What's going on? What the hell? What is happening here, guys? I mean, the way this game's going, I think I just build a Pavis. Some wacky shit's going on. Tower. Uh, I probably should have checked for runes or wards first, but I'm just gonna go for it. trying to swap him. Oops. Ah, uh, I messed that up, guys. I should have saved what's his name first. Tidehunter. But it's kind of a weird fight anyways. I don't know. He went Midas, like, why are we fighting so much? I mean, I guess Dark Warden, but, like, still. I hope he's... I hope it's working out. 2, 1, and 6? Okay, maybe it is working out. But I'm worried about these fights, like, all of us dying so much here. Swapping two. Alright, I think I'm just dead next. Your mid towers in a bit of a way. I shouldn't have swapped them. <laughs> I also should have maybe ran this way after swapping him. I'll tell you what. We're farming up these stacks. Do I need to win the game to get this? How do I unlock? Enemies? 
forget my teammates, guys. What have I been doing? I want to get Arcane Ring again, dealing with all the mana burning. We need to D ward through here later. I should TP like here. go check but Didn't expect that kick damage. I wasn't ready for that. Let my vengeance soar. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I realized how low this guy was. Ah, oh, shit, there's vision here, I forgot. What? Damn, I thought we would have the damage between me and Tiny. Like half health invoker. Universal stat heroes, man, so tanky. All right, I guess I'm just feeding. I keep getting wrecked by these wards. I thought for sure there was a ward here. We even watched him walk in, whatever it is. I hope he knows something about the matchup I don't. I don't know. I don't think I believe in this Midas first, but... I guess Wraith King jumping on top of Arc Warden is generally good. Oh, he's still gonna die. Muted. Let's see what's been being said. Your 
your top towers in trouble. Oh, I thought we were having a decent start. It's getting messy. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta think a moment, guys. I really like the cast range for Venge. Can we fight? I have bra, bitch. But money. 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 Get out of position. Wow, we don't even kill him. That's so sad. We don't even kill him. Hello, where is our carry? That top tower of yours ain't doing so good. Oh, we got him. Whew. I don't know. I have a feeling we're gonna need the cast range, guys, to to bring people under fountain and stuff. This is a good opportunity to learn. I think we were doing well, and now we've kind of been like feeding away a lot. See what I would have killed Lion if I had this uh swap talent damage. I am no target. I think I should get magic missile cast range though to go with his eye. button wow really so high I mean it is a lot all right I'm gonna do it I'll try it out why not Statistically told, this is more picked.
Careful, there's a lot here. Real? I'm coming, I'm coming! I don't think he needs to. You still do the pull radiant side that stacks and pull. I, I honestly haven't tried it in a long time. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think the tree line changed here. I suppose it should be possible. Don't worry, don't worry. I just spam. Uh, I don't think it's worth it, guys. Help, help! <laughs> this is a good opportunity to learn. All right, well. Monster kill. No pinger, guys. No pinger. Very big. We're approaching the fountain, the fountain swaps. That top tower here ain't doing so good. Your mid tower ain't doing too good. The other fellow's bottom tower, nothing but fragments now. My sentiments persist. Your mid tower's coming apart. Might be about to die. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Don't get any bonuses. Sad. Uh, you want to fight? I have rubbish. Hey, hey, hey! Anyone, anyone? Too comedic guys. <laughs> I can't understand why he's pre-muted. Oh, I think he needs to turn and kill that, or like Midas it or something. This this is a good opportunity to learn. I don't know. Someone's having technical difficulties. I hope Invoker. This is the only way we win, guys. Invoker disconnects. Alright, we ended up dying a lot back to back. I don't like. The Midas, I feel like we should have gone like Radiance Blink or something to fight right away. 
But now, like, he's trying to communicate and tell, like, I'm talking about Wraithing, right? He's like, hey, don't fight this, whatever. This guy's like, let's go fight. He's like, where's my carrot? It's like, I, he's saying he doesn't want to fight. Like, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I moved it. Real Arc Wardens are gonna, like, just chill five miles in the back. So we need, like, this kind of observer, I think, to try to find him later on. As long as you have true strike, you can hit the bubble. The bubble is just 100% evasion. So if you have like Maelstrom, MKB, those type of things, you can still hit. Or you can be in the bubble. So pretty much, I think we're going to have to wait for them to come high ground. I'm going to have to swap in the real Arc Warden into like a bad position and hope my team can like kill him instantly. And then like, I don't know, do some like big ravage as everyone's trying to like come and help the Arc Warden. That's like my game plan. I'm doing this force death, but I kind of want to kind of want to blink and or Aether Lens instead. Oh, okay. I'm leaving. I was going to ward here, but. Teleport. I thought he was going to roll away, so I swapped him back. <laughs> kind of messed up my team there a little bit. Uh, me for Earth Spirit is probably pretty worth it. Let's see what else happens. Back. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> knew he was going to get sun striked. <laughs> I feel like he needs a blink. I don't know. The name of the game is like get to Arc Warden, you know? So it begins the rat experience, guys. Oh, 
Maybe I didn't need to swap them yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's see it, guys. Oh shit. Uh, Alright, we're all in. The six plus. Okay, so a 12, 12 armor reduction. Went to the divine rapier. Do we believe? He has Lincolns. Ooh. 17 armor reduction. That's a lot. No one could possibly even have 17 armor. No one. Mm, the aura only works with base damage, yeah. How's armor reduction calculated? There's a formula for it. Um, what it comes down to is that every single piece of... Every armor you get, one armor, is worth 6% more physical effective health. The exact calculation can be found on the wiki. I forget it, but that's how you can do it. I think we just have to wait high ground. I don't think there's anywhere like here we can do, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Just taking my time. Trying to figure out where I wanted to put it. Looking for that kind of ward, but kind of forgetting like, oh yeah, shit, that means. Alright, we got four staff. We got swap gonna bring people into the fountain i'm sure telescope i hope There goes my hero. Don't ravage. It's true, we really gotta capitalize on this ravage. Three and a half minutes. Uh, Dragon Fox. No, like, I know. I know it'll happen. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I know this is the trouble with those kind of videos. I know it's anecdotal, and that toxic shit will happen to every single server. That's just, like, what I think happens more frequently in Europe that has led 
or like more frequently in NA or Europe, depending what we're talking about, that has led it to be like one region is like clearly stronger. And I think that includes pubs. So player base is part of it as well. I will talk more on it if you want in a moment once we potentially lose this game. Man, I'm stunned up forever. What the heck? Tried to swap him out. Can't lose this divine rapier. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Look at this guy's armor. Holy shit. Fountain, help us. Yes. Fountain, go. Fountain. Yes. Okay, I wish I had buyback so I could buyback swap someone in here. Uh, okay, Lincoln Sphere. We have to be careful of that. This one's done, though, but... You know, we'll, we'll keep trying. We'll at least try to get a fountain swap for the laughs. Oh, I should have a coaching command. That's a great, great, great point. All right, someone get over here. Come on, come on. Let me swap you in. Someone come to the fountain. I know I could have swapped him, guys, but <laughs> saving Wraith King or saving Tide Under does not win us this game. Getting someone to this freaking fountain is like actually my no joke only hope. I'm like stuck here on this ice wall. All right, it's over. Come to the fountain, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ha ha ha, we got one. Just a little longer, guys. I just need 27 more seconds on swap again. Now you might be thinking, Zach, why didn't you grab that Divine Rapier? You think I want a Divine Rapier loss in my statistics? No way. I don't want to pick up that Divine Rapier. Crazy talk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, guys, I think we can buy back and get him killed. Oh, what? Oh. All right, whatever. Mm. All right, I'm going to throw this guy in mute again. That game is just like nothing happened. I feel like there were mistakes all over the board. So I'm not like throwing this on one player or the other. But we just like 
really choked. I think the start was okay. Yeah. But I think my team built the wrong items. And then I started just trying to like save people that shouldn't be saved. And we just died a whole ton. And from our 10 minutes to 20 minutes, like it just, it was a total failure. So. Okay, what's going on? Um, I've only played in some of the servers, so I can't really like make videos about the other servers. That's why this was specifically about comparing NA to EU. Uh, notice a lot of high level players building arcanes on Venge, but guys I see go tranquils. What's your opinion? One to go one or the other. I think arcane boots are quite nice right now. It's a question of what your team needs. Venge herself does not really have massive mana issues. But this game, for example, Invoker and Lion will burn off a lot of mana. Um, what's it called? Diffusal is really popular right now. So even if you want to fight, you may not have any mana. So being able to Arcane's after is also really nice. Um, some games you don't need it. And you know you're going to build drums, for example. And you might go like drum boots. That's fine. But I think Arcane's... Like it really comes down to do you need health or do you need mana? And it's easier to buy... Depending on your build, it is typically easier to find things that will help you with health than it will help you with your mana or mana pool. Like the items that help with that are a little more specific usually. So the default is like fall back to tranquils, but think about like, do I need arcanes? Is arcanes better? Then I'll get arcanes. It's rare that it's like I need to get tranquils instead of arcanes, um, but it's... It's sometimes the case, like uh, Tinker, Zeus, Bloodseeker, like sometimes those heroes you do want Tranquils. Venomancer, Viper type heroes. An old salty yank just having your game first pick Venno. No one gets a stun. You get flamed. I know, right? It's people just want to lash out. They just want to lash out. Uh, I do do coaching. Uh, you can find more info on Patreon or feel free to message me on Discord. Um, but yeah, the info's on Patreon. Uh, if you're on PC, you can scroll down. It's in like one of the tabs. I'll make a command for coaching later on. music pack is this um i have it shuffled i'm not sure what it might have been what is it world interface oh interface uh yeah there's a couple it could have been all of these pretty much i'm not sure which one we were just on How was last game? Started off okay, I think, but it, it quickly, quickly fell apart. Okay, I did say we'll switch over to replay analyses, so let me set that up. And actually, I guess that gives me a chance to also set up my coaching command. Switch over to this. Oh, wait. Don't actually do it yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Now you can do it. 
Type exclamation point replay if you want to join in this random raffle. We'll look at one of your games. Yada, yada, yada. While we're doing this, let me set up a command for coaching. Uh, any level 30s? Yeah. Uh, Treant Protector, Jakiro is 26. Those are the two highest. There was a way to check this before, but I forget now. Is it up here? Oh, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Replay. Where the... How do I... Rewards log? Looks like a way to do it. Hey, Arby. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I actually... <laughs> I think you should, I don't know if it adds you in if you do it through a sub notification. So yeah, definitely do it a second time just to be sure. Thank you. Um, let me just find out where can I see? I don't know. I don't know how to see it, but uh, if you want, you can like take a peek here real quick. Jakiro and Trian are my two highest though. Looks like Venomancer's pretty high up there as well. I didn't realize he was so high, but I guess I'm not that surprised. Oh, Rubik's at 22, Dark Willow, nice. Okay, let me make this coaching command real quick. Easy. Treant level 30 spit. What? How dare you? I've been playing Treant since before he was super popular. So, okay, the recent, the recent, you know, very annoying Treant, I get it, you know, but. <laughs> Everyone likes their own heroes, huh? We will get a patch tomorrow. You feel it in your bones. It should be soon, I feel like. That was the end of qualifiers. Tournaments start up a little later this month. So now really is a good time for it. You'd have more if you spent Dota Plus shards on stat crystals. Well, I do for some heroes. So uh, most of the heroes I spam, I do have all the, the relics. A couple don't. It's Dark Will or Grimstroke that I played a bunch and I just thought it would be funny to not have any of the shards. Is it you? Where do I check? Progress? It must be Grimstroke then. I spammed a shit ton of Grimstroke when he came out and I didn't have the shards to buy it. And I thought after a certain point, I was just like, we'll just leave it. It's just funny this way. So he's the only one I don't have him for, but most other heroes, I like buy out all the shards. Do it mid tournament again. Okay. Low key. Is that not really good for viewership? It sucks for the players and the teams, and I bet if it happened a lot, maybe they would complain to Valve. But don't you think more people tune in when there's been a giant patch in the middle of a tournament, and you're like, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go check it out. What shit show this is. Right? I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. It's, it's kind of good for viewership. What do shards do? I never understood. It's just, it's purely cosmetic bonus stuff. You don't need it for anything. Um, it just like tracks some stats and you level up the hero, but you just get like voice lines to use to tilt people with. So uh, you can see it here in like progress. You can see like the rewards. So depending on the level of your hero, you get all this. The shards themselves, these you use to buy the relics or to buy like sets and stuff. Uh, there's some like okay things in here, I guess, but they really did not do much with the battle pass. So the shards are really just to buy more relics. I M O. Oh, can we see it here? I have maxed out Wind Ranger. What? Why did I do that? Why did I do Omni Knight? What's wrong with me? E T. Who is this guy? He needs financial help. How to spend his shards. These are poor pur purchases in here. 
I either buy them all or I don't buy any. As you can tell, there's a lot. Oh, let's buy all of Pudges. One day we'll become Pudge Spammer. Oh, we got them all. One day. All right. Let's do this. NPR. Whoa. Whoa. You even, you even redeemed it and then canceled it and here you are. Uh, what hero do you recommend for a Marana? Wait, where'd that message go? Am I blind? Oh, here. Uh, recommend for a Marana only noob player. Um, I would say, so if you've only been playing Marana, then your right click harassing in lane is usually what you're going for on Marana. So other heroes who do that, well, actually it depends if you're playing core or support, I guess. But Wind Ranger, she's really good right now. If you're playing like core Marana, you can play her as support. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it like kind of works. Um, if you want the same mobility, that's the harder part. There's quite a few heroes who right click harass the same way she does. I feel like Wind Ranger is the closest because Wind Run is its own form of like mobility, and there's like a skill shot in the the W and the shackle, right? I'd say Wind Ranger is the closest, but it depends what you like about Marana, I guess. Hoodwink. Okay, I'm like, yeah, I'm up for Hoodwink being similar as well. How do you have 1 million shards? I stop buying lattes every day. No avocado toast. The youths of today just don't know how to save up shards. They just, they just don't know, and they complain. They want the economy to change, but... You simply, simply don't spend your money. It's that easy. Be in a position of which to play tons of Dota. <laughs> and then fail to recognize that you're in a unique position. <laughs> in the end, I just don't, I just don't spend them. I'm in like, we have my guild. The guild gives like some shards. I don't think it's like a crazy amount, but it adds up, I guess, when you just don't spend them. Uh, can you try this one first? Yes. Let me hide this. Ooh, a party game, perhaps? 122. Ooh, yeah, I think that's too late. Well, it looks like it downloaded. It might be baiting us. Do you think if you made do you think if you made shards purchasable with real money which i mean they kind of are because you have to buy dota plus but like if you just wanted to buy a million shards like they'd be like yeah that's 500 bucks do you think people would do it i guess a couple people would do it right the people who have enough money even though shards don't really do that much in dota if you just wanted to flex like having all of it some people would do it NPR, I think that one might not work. I'll try it again, but it looks to be stuck here. Eh, 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 eh. It's not letting me copy this in. Eh. Okay, it's letting me... It's bugging out when I try to copy the whole thing. I'm just gonna... There we go. Oh no, that was the wrong one. It didn't work. There we go. Download. Okay, back in my day, we did actually have to carry our own TP scrolls in our inventory. <laughs> back in my day, okay, you had to be really careful about pissing people off because suddenly your item on the courier would just be dropped somewhere and you wouldn't know where it is. You have to go hunt down. Where is it? Who knows? You have to be very careful. You can get your courier killed. Back in my day, we had courier trains. 
And once you were winning, he would just grow the train of couriers and have them all run in a circle. Back in my day, dewarding observer didn't give you any gold and they were free. Or no, they weren't free. They were just cheaper. That's why people used to block with observer wards. Um, okay, NPR. Who, what are we? Uh, centaur? Um, start at 30 to 35 minutes. Question is, how do you break the high ground? We had a good lead, good lane. Okay, 60 minute game. Hoo -hoo. Um, what is this? Uh, ba 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 ba. Unranked party. Party! Uh, off lane. Thirty to thirty-five minutes. -ish. Okay, let's take a quick stock of things. So, your team is winning. Arc Warden, he's up here, but the others are down a bit. Okay, thirteen k lead. Not the hugest lead, but it's decent. Um. Okay, so what I would say, there might be... Okay, Troll does have Roche. It's just bugged out because we jumped in ahead. So, um... You're mainly just going to watch Troll hit things. He's He's got the ranged form, so he should be, like, back here just poking. I would say that's all you really need to do, actually. Like, everyone just stands behind him and watches. You have, uh, yeah, Solar Crest and Glimmer. Does anyone have a four staff? Okay, no one has a four staff yet, but maybe it's on the way for Dazzle, which means like you can possibly just like four staff him out. And I would just repeat that. No one else should like get close and you all just stand back. If you do need to jump in, like you will, plus your stampede, Pango can like roll into like disrupt fights depending how it's looking. So with that in mind, let's like go through this a little slowly and see what you guys end up doing. So I'm gonna like switch over this perspective. Okay, so like one trolls, he's like, this is massively in further than he needs to be, right? It may not seem like a lot, like from where he is to where Jakiro is, but this is like a really big difference. So you don't want that to happen. We had an issue where the troll is just getting poked down from afar. That's going to happen, but like you just continue, you know, like that's what the point of the Aegis is, is like you slowly poke down these buildings. And it might take a while, but sometimes that's just all it is. Uh, you just, like, do it slowly. And if he gets low, you guys back off. He, like, heals in the jungle, Dazzle's healing him, whatever. And then he comes back in and he, like, repeats. You could try to split push multiple lanes. Um, but that's also a bit tough. It opens you up to being picked off. Usually the safest in a pub. Well, I guess it's five man. But to me, like, like he only died because he's like too far here. Oh no, what have I done? Let's go back. Okay, 12k, Roche, you guys have pushed up. So, all of you should get together in one lane. So maybe, looks like bottom lane first. Wow, I can't believe she's on there. That's funny. All right, a little bit scattered here. Kind of scary. He's going to take this building. Okay, step one. Good. Pushing up. You can keep going. The lanes aren't, like, the greatest spot, but it's pretty tough against an Arc Warden. You have time. So if you want to poke at a high ground a little bit, that's fine. Pick top or bottom. Currently, you guys showing in multiple lanes, so that's a way to throw, right? You got three people up here. You're showing down here, so if they were quick, they could jump someone. Uh, you guys want to be a little careful of that. So, same thing. High level, they'll probably just jump troll right now. 
because these three just showed up here and then now he's like walking high ground on his own so like if they nuke him in three seconds like none of your saves are ready everyone's out of range like it matters so first of all you should all be here and then he just starts hitting right so he's walking in because of the bubble but the bubble is not permanent so he should continue to wait back here and not move in like this stay back here and just poke so like he's being harassed but like it shouldn't like he should be back here and for arc warden to harass arc warden should walk up to the tower which at that point maybe we're getting to the point where we can jump or you can just back off and wait so the troll's kind of dying here before anyone's ready but you see like while he was allowed to poke he like whittled the tower down right so like you walk up you poke 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 the bubble comes out you just back off wait you come back poke 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 right like it's going to go down it's just gonna take a little bit And so because he's back here for you to counter initiate you see how you're back here and like if dazzle wants to save you he's like damn it like i gotta go under tier three you know and he's not ready to save troll because troll's still dying and he's still back here this this all comes back from like they were over here when you guys started this so if we switch it and troll is here and they're killing troll which means they're all here at the tower you can jump initiate back here in this case, Jakiro is long range enough to actually reach all the way back here, but many supports can't. Many supports can reach like around here though, without having to go that far under the tower. So you'd now be jumping multiple heroes in this area. Dazzle is in range, like hopefully here ahead of time, but like he could do this without having to walk under tower to like save, save troll. So the troll's like under here. So like see how your whole team is like, of course, you know, they gotta like follow in under the tower like this. Everyone has to come under, so like Witch Doctor's free to just ult the way, and you're all deep. If you were all back here, like, he pops the ult somewhere around here, and it's much easier to disengage. So to me, this this initial high ground throw right here was Hi. one. Currently in the hospital for alcohol poisoning. I played a drinking game and took a shot every time someone in Twitch chat called you winter during ESL. <laughs> anyway, great to see you moving up in the world. <laughs> Angry healer? I did not know people did that. That's funny. I'm sorry of alcohol poisoning. I don't know if that's part of the joke or like is a joke, but if it is, uh, definitely take it easy. I hope you're hope you're doing well. Drink drink lots of water. <laughs> Thank you for the five five dollar tip. I appreciate it. Racism aside, you know what? I like winter. If my analysis can be as good as winter, I'll take it. You know, hopefully that's why they're calling me winter, right? Surely it's no, it's no racial profiling. Um, what was I just saying? Oh yeah, so this throw is because you guys just didn't do it correctly, right? So next time, come up here together. Troll stands right here and long range attacks this. Dazzle's back here, like Jakira's over here, you and like Pango are like somewhere, right? Just waiting. You're all just waiting. You're all just watching Troll poke it. And if they bubble, like he just steps back for a moment and then steps back in. And it's going to be slow, but that's like, sometimes that's all it is for high ground. If he really wants, he can try to walk up to like here in melee form. But like here, I promise you guys, this is a huge different from, difference from like this. It's like, it's really, it's really different. Um, but also, like, you guys just weren't ready to help. That's why he died the first time. Like, Grave never even came out. So, that's a pretty big throw with the first Aegis, or second Aegis. I don't know which one we're at. We can keep going to see, like, the next one. But really, the plan is, like, the exact same. It doesn't really change from there. Jakiro actually has to be careful about using spells on the tower, so that could be a way to siege, but it is risky. If he has, like, attack range stuff, it might work. Like, the talent for it, and then maybe, like, a neutral. That could be another way you siege high ground. But a support like Jakiro, usually walking up to attack, and, like, he's up to here, that's probably out of position. He should be, like, over here, so when he ice paths, it not only hits troll, but it also hits the other heroes, like, behind troll. For, like, DK is probably, like, blinking onto troll... And like Ember's like, you know, Arc Warden's hitting back here. Ember's like coming in from whatever angle. 
right? So if Jakiro's up here with it, then, like, he's too close. All right, we'll speed forward and see, like, the next throw if you guys, like, we can see if it's any different. But to me, it would be the exact same formula from here, but possibly harder because you just gave gold to the enemy team. And now you have to do it without Aegis, or you have to wait for the Aegis. Guess what's happening. Stole Tormentor, pretty cool. Got a Witch Doctor kill, maybe a Dragonite? Kind of close. Okay, this is pretty deep. Uh-oh. Alright, I mean, it was pretty close. If you had successfully done this, it might have been a good way to do it. But this dive... Uh, probably unnecessary. All right, a speed forward. Uh, Roshan should be like soonish, I think. You guys, chilling for Rosh. Chilling, chilling. We even grew the lead. Okay, so same deal. Push in the lanes. It's harder now because, like, we're getting more, like, mobile and stuff like that. There's a Manta, Dragonite, like, it's scary. But you can get one lane in. All right. So you see how we're kind of scattered right now? This is another way to possibly throw right now. Uh, using some big spells before we're about to go high ground. Kind of scary. Still split up top and bottom, or mid and bottom. Okay, now we're all together. So, now, we're kind of getting there, right? So, Jakira will get closer around here. Troll will go into range form and just start hitting. It's kind of it. Dazzle, spam out heal on the creeps, try to keep him alive as long as possible. First bubble. I know, I know bubble's annoying. But it's not permanent uptime, I think. Maybe it is. Clone's not permanent uptime. Okay, so you see how he gets saved the first time because this position's much better for you all and he doesn't have to dive like tier three to save, so that's part of this. So now we're kind of initiating. Okay, so... I think this actually should have worked out, Grave, a little bit late. <laughs> just, just a little bit, a little bit late on the Grave there. But otherwise I think Troll lives and then that's the that's the set here. All right, so there's still a little mess up here, but it was better than the first one for sure. Our tower damage is gone. I think you leave. Like after that happens, you guys just leave here. God, you're so tanky. 6,000 health. Oh my God. 7,000. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. I'm gonna start the new raffle. I think we've answered your your core question here. Let me know if there's any other like nuances to that you wanna ask. Here's another thing you can do. You can you can wait for big runes before you go high ground. Especially with the Aegis, you can kinda like sit a little bit and you should have rune control if you're winning, right? So you just kinda wait to see a good rune. And then that speeds up the time required to actually do the high ground.
Uh, he should get an MKB. He doesn't need this basher. MKB will go... Will help him pierce the bubble. It doesn't work on buildings, I'm pretty sure. But it'll work on heroes. Don't forget you can also, like, uh, like if you don't want them to push out two lanes while you're trying to siege bottom, you can grab the creep waves from mid. Like, depending on the heroes you have, you can grab them here and drag them to your team. To be a little careful of that, but depending how much you're winning, like, it's easy to do, potentially. Wow. All right, so she probably should have died back here if you guys were faster on detection. You guys have used all your stuff. You guys are diving like pretty hard. Oh, I didn't mean to go a full minute. All right. So I think if you kill this crystal maiden faster and you had detection, like she should probably just die right here. And then you just, you don't do the rest of this, right? Or like Troll doesn't chase, Troll just hits these buildings while Roll is making space for him and there's a macro pyre cutting off this back half, right? So like he should just kill this building in like the five seconds he has, but he like joins in on this. And then I guess this is actually just good positioning from Witch Doctor, like sitting back there. Oh, someone redeemed it? My bad, guys. Well, you guys can sit in the queue, but... Um, Monch! Okay, sorry, I didn't see that. Monch, hit me with it. I think we've covered it. Okay. Monch, let me know. Let me know whatever your uh, thing is. Maybe you stepped away. Oh, okay. You're here. Great. I was about to ping you. Okay. In that case, I will. I'll go run to the restroom real quick. Get a snack, maybe. I'll be right back, everybody.
Time I'll show you a game where I stomped. Well, I mean, it looks like you were doing pretty well to start, right? Yeah, look at that. Top net worth. Let's go. By the way, for anyone watching who only likes watching me play games, probably won't play any more today. So I understand if you want to head out. Uh, Friday, we'll be back to playing games. Tomorrow, I'll probably work on videos, but there's a small chance maybe we'll finish Outer Wilds or we'll continue trying to. Can someone inform me what this line is called? Like this here? What is its technical name? The key above the enter key. Uh, so Crystal Maiden position five. Thought we did, did decent in lane and created room for spec. We had a very global team, and I figured we need to play around. Okay. Pipe, backspace. There's no way it's called backspace. Time zero. You guys are trolling me. Pipe or vertical bar. Honestly, I couldn't even tell if pipe was, like, trolling me or not, but multiple people saying pipe is kind of convincing me. I shouldn't have said that, because now all of you guys are... Now everyone's just going to say pipe, but... <laughs> ah, shit. Don't worry, this can be verified. I can... Keyboard pipe... Ah, oh, damn, you guys aren't trolling me. It is called a pipe. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to Crystal Maiden. So, um, decent lane, created room for spec, had a global lineup. Went around Doom and his timings, let our global heroes jump in, okay? We got a lot of farm, but unfortunately was playing his own game and not cooperating. What could I have done better? Okay. Um, sounds like you have the right plan. Let me, let me look at the draft a little bit more. I think it makes sense. It's backspace because in the UK, the enter key is bigger. Oh. You're right. It does depend on the keyboard. I've had keyboards that also have a really large enter key. All right, let's just ignore that. That wasn't us. I'm just going to zoom through your lane real quick. Actually, no, I won't. Let me look at this. We're going to try to stay focused. Okay, we are going to zoom through your lane real quick because it looks like it could have gone a little better. But I think identifying that Doom was doing well, that sounds good to me. We can go play around with him. So let's speed through the laning stage, find you a couple tips, and then go see how you're playing with this Doom. Uh, let's start over here again. So, 30 seconds to show time. you guys are trying first blood. They have a ward here, but it still somehow works. Pull. So I would actually recommend you start Q. You can hit multiple heroes at these first blood things, but then also thinking about your lane. Frostbite versus Legion is going to be pretty... pretty bleh, right? Depending when she takes, press the attack, of course, but... I mean, as soon as she has it, it's like not going to do anything. 
And I would say a good a good legion could like save the skill point to see what you're up to. Mm. I think Q would work to not only help you get this first blood, but you can also use it to secure range creeps. And I would say these two heroes together versus a legion and a position four who's eventually going to come here, I imagine, uh, is not easy for you to play aggressive. I would actually go for a more defensive build here, probably. Like, I could, you could kind of see how it goes and adapt, but I, I wouldn't mind if you actually went QE because you're really just like every single range creep, you're going to go like Crystal Nova and try to secure it. Or if you want, you can take turns with Spectre. So, like, she gets one, you get one, she gets one, you get one. Um, yeah, I mean, Legion's got 65 damage. I know this is uh, Archon, so she's probably not going to do it perfectly, but I think it would be okay to skip W for the first two, two levels because of that. Uh, definitely be careful about aggroing the creeps like this. Half pull's pretty good. Ah. Uh, I think you got baited trying to protect a courier. I think you should definitely just back out there. It, uh, having said that, I mean, you were pretty low, so actually dying... Kind of okay. Nice stack. You just start Q, felt the need to secure first blood. Alright. I think that's a good learning moment then. Think about what you're willing to start for first blood. For certain heroes, like they have versatile skill builds, so it's okay to go one or the other. And you could argue that for Crystal Maiden, but you also need to look at your lane and be like, is one build a lot better than the other? And it's not worth griefing your entire laning stage over a first blood in most situations, right? That's kind of a high level thing to maybe recognize we need first blood on our mid hero and our mid hero is so massive like this game that it'll make a huge difference. It's worth griefing our side lane a little bit to do that. But in a pub game, that's kind of dicey. And I would argue that it's much better to recognize what you need for your own lane and not deviate too much for first blood attempts, which are very risky to begin with, right? There's no guarantee you get first blood a lot of times. Um, again, W is not like the worst thing to start with Crystal Maid and then, I mean, we like kind of working, but... This is really messy. <laughs> Lane's like all over the place. He's going for so many kills with a specter. So funny. Uh, I missed your exact build, but I would say don't be afraid to buy more consumable regen this game. Right, your job is to get out of this lane as much as possible and you're kind of seeing right they have so much damage you can't you can't be low you have to be topped up at all times so extra tangos and salves would have been fine um movement speed to keep your distance like kind of a good idea but at the same time like you can't be totally out of the lane and specter certainly can't so you kind of have to be strong for specter Move speed, you're like, oh, you can't get me. And they're like, okay, just hit Spectre, I guess. You're like, wait, no, not like that. So you gotta eat them. You gotta give them to Spectre. Alright, we've since left that lane. And I, I like this. Solid. 
you're actually so rich. Two, three, and seven. Kind of crazy. You might want to do this D ward before doing that observer in the back. I kind of like how active you've been with the specter lane into this like tough matchup you're trying to make space for her i think that's a good idea um oh uh. that centaur was about to get it okay i mean this plays good that's a little scary don't forget in daytime they actually see quite far so whoop gonna get a little further back that's kind of why he tp'd here right away but fortunately your whole team came actually But this as a whole was pretty good. Uh, item wise, I don't mind Solar Crest. This game, that could be good. Uh, I guess not that great with your teammates, actually. I guess Four Staff's fine too. Oh, I was thinking about items, I wasn't really like processing what I was seeing. Wait, we have a classic pub issue here, which is that you guys all killed a bunch of heroes down here. And then no one hit the building. All right, fortify. So like after that fortify, you also just like come back and finish this tower. I'm gonna try to like cut off back here, but you used all your abilities earlier, right? Like your ult's still on cooldown, other people's ults are on cooldown and you killed them before they got off that much, so. They're kind of fighting you guys back here and winning because like you're fighting behind their tower without all your cooldowns. So you guys could have just like chilled and like taken this tower. What's the play? What is he doing? I, I'm trying to debate if this is even worth looking further into. It's like what the... <laughs> Echo Saver? Harpoon? On Doom? Low base attack time Doom? Alright, this guy was cooking, but he... He... He has burned his meal severely. I wouldn't feel too bad. I wouldn't think about this game much further beyond that, actually. Your idea is right, but like, that guy's got massively incorrect items. Wow, Marcy just like, bop, bop, bop. Have you guys seen It Man? She just It Manned you. Bop, 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 and you died. Cause I mean, like, I would still try it. I would still go with this guy with the helm of the Dominator and like whatever the hell he's building, right? But it sounds like you said he didn't really like he was just doing his own thing and like wouldn't play. So like, weird build aside, like having a weird build is one thing, but like completely incorrect play is like another thing. And there's like really nothing you can do. In the same way, like you can't. It's like extremely difficult to win a game where someone just like runs it down mid. Not like not impossible, but 
realistically, what's the point of thinking about it and trying to like be prepared for that situation? You know, I would I would describe the same thing here. You have a guy doing a really shit build and playing like possibly just on his own. I don't know like what the communications was, but like you see when he joins, he's like kind of doing damage, even though the build's wacky. So like as long as he like played correctly, it could kind of work. So it kind of depends how much he he jungles versus like joins up on this stuff. Yo, ratted mid with his dark troll summoner though, hell yeah. I mean, he doesn't have doom, so you guys shouldn't like, I don't know, be very like, be a little careful. If we're playing like on and off cooldowns, right? So right now, Deep Ward's back here. I don't know who placed these. Not you, thank God. Dyer's mid towers having technical difficulties. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. Okay, Doom is up. You could have a smoke. I see you do actually. So if you just tell your team like I want to smoke, go find someone. This is why your your team needs Deep Wards. This is like kind of okay, but like something like back here would have been good. Um, something like back here. So you got to have a destination. These two observers are like really bad. Uh, just like one. One of these would have been fine actually, I guess. Like this one would have been okay. This one's still kind of bad. Out here would have been a little better. One is okay though. Even in like a weird spot. This is like kind of okay, but you see how like doesn't really help you find someone to like go smoke up to them and then helm dom the creep they're farming. But <laughs> or you end up with a haste rune and no observers to place. And okay, so we smoke, but like, where do we really go? LC, I guess, is fine. Doom, where's his Helm Dom creep? Is he trying to micro it? Where is it? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, it's over here. It's not moving either, bro. What are you doing? Go. On how long did it type him? I'm sorry, I just got to know. So he ate that creep. Didn't helm dom it. He's buying some stuff. So just here smoked. It's processing. He's like, why does my hero look a little different? Oh, let me move this over. The slot for Echo Saber matters a lot. Oh, you know what? The slot for Harpoon actually does matter a little bit more. Okay. He's here. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay, so like your smoke is good, but if the guy's not moving, you kind of have to wait for him. <laughs> You know, like, you can't really go without him. He seems to have been doing some inventory management. Like, you and Silencer find anyone and, like, nothing's happening. You've got to wait for him. you got to be like, Doom? Hello? Doom? Doom? Hello? Doom? Right? So, in the end, this smoke, like, didn't do anything. This fight happened, like, regardless of the smoke. Who's the doom target here? Pre troll ulti. I would say troll, Marcy. Those are two good ones if their ults haven't been activated. Even if their ults have been activated, it might still be good to do to get them killed. Otherwise, like Legion or Grim, I think is decent. I think uh, Jakiro feels the least important. All right, let's go back to that raffle we were doing earlier, but in case people left, let's actually just start it over.
Yeah, this could have been a veil here. This could have been a veil. And then, like, Shiva's. Just imagine Doom Shiva's running around at this stage 15 minutes. It's much scarier. Aloha. Can you want to get up here? Hephaestus is not interested in being on stream. Oh? He's changed his mind, perhaps. Come here. Now look at the camera. Mwah. His butt's on my keyboard. Taking up, he's taking up the entire uh, mouse pad. All right, anyone else who wants to join in? You got a couple seconds. Me on PCP. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I will get to do it again in the future. And I hope to do a better job at that time. Improve even more. What do you think, Hef? Actually, the cats. The cats are the real MVPs. So is my girlfriend. The cat's too loud. So I put them, we put them like in a side room. And then she spent a lot of time with them, like during all the streams, so that they wouldn't get too bored and like meow a bunch. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Monch actually won when I picked, but Hef immediately swung his tail and slammed the enter key. He wants Sinister MJ to win. <laughs> uh, what should we do? How should we do this? How long have I been playing Dota for? I, my friend tried to get me to play it in high school, but I didn't get into it uh, until college, a couple years later. And then it was kind of casual. I played multiple games. I was playing like League, Dota, Dawngate, other games, like all at the same time. And then at some point, I just kind of like gone to Dota the most. Especially, there was some League change. I don't remember what it is. They like completely reworked their UI and hid a bunch of useful information. And I was just like... I just don't like the direction this game is compared to Dota. So I switched to Dota at that point, which was probably, hold on, let me math. Oh my God, it's actually a lot. Probably like 2015 or 2016, I started playing more, which means it's what? Almost eight to nine years now. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, half left, where are you? Ooh, he's here in his spot. No, no, we'll do both, guys. Monch, let's do yours first, and then Sinister, we'll do yours. That was my plan. Season 6 reworked the UI? Well, they just lost themselves a paying customer. It was a terrible idea. <laughs> I don't even remember what it hid, but I just, I remember just like trying to play after that. And I was already at a point where I was like starting to play more Dota instead. And then it was like, whatever they changed, I just thought it was so garbage. 
I hated it. I just quit like there. I think I played like a, every now and then after that with like some other friends, but uh, I have not gone back. I did go back for like some video stuff at, since uh, being a content creator to like go back and see what's going on for one was an April Fool's video. And then recently I was going to do like some beginner stuff, but I just never got to it. That's the last time I went back to League. Do I want to win or a loss? Either way is fine. I want a game where I can help. You know, if you don't know what you could have done, like, that's where I can help the most. Since Sir MJ has his game ready, uh, let me put that somewhere before I lose it. I'll be ready for that next. How's the Power World progress? Pretty good. Uh, so what we did on stream, we played on that world a little bit more and then kind of realized like every time I stream, she can't play because I was the one hosting the world. So we restarted. Uh, she she made the world so that she could play uh, when I'm like not around. I think she's playing right now. Um, so it took us a while to catch back up, like exactly back to where we were. I wanted to do a different base than last time, but I kind of regret it because the like I I took what I learned and tried to put in the new one, but I did not learn until too late that the AI in these pals is so bad and they regularly kill themselves jumping off the cliffs of the base because it's on it's near the chillet. If you know, like the 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 boss, there's a chillet and there's like a little outcropping of iron, the ore nearby. I don't know what it is about that area. The pals are always depressed. They're always depressed and sad and they don't want to work and they throw themselves off the cliffs. <laughs> and I gotta, I gotta like redo it. We've like, we're working on other bases and stuff. Those, those pals do not want to contribute to capitalism. What are they doing? I have a recommendation for other hard support educational YouTubers. For hard support? Nothing comes to mind exactly. Um, but other content creators touch on it too. So it's, I don't know if there's anyone who has a, like, a channel that's like as consistent as mine because I, like, I'm doing it full time and a lot of other people do it casually. You could look at 5up Dota. He does, he's more of a position four though. He, the name might fool you, five up, <laughs> but he actually prefers position four a lot more. He kind of talks about both support roles a bit though. Um, what else? Uh, who are you in plan here? Sorry, I like, okay, still Crystal Maiden. Oh, actually we don't even have to change the info, perfect. Done with coal as well. So that's what we're doing now. Um, I think she found a desert base and she's working on that. I'm working on breeding. I'm like trying to get some super lift monk and like you know, bosses. I'm trying to I'm trying to get like some some souped up lucky, ferocious, muscle head, whatever. I do have one, but now I need to get enough other lift monks to like zoop, like condense them into the one lift monk all all the other the the life essence of these little lift monks are going to go into into the uh the bullets of the main lift monk <laughs> dubu's good when he streams yeah my my only complaint with a lot of streamers and i totally understand right it's nothing against them but so many high level players are required to hide their their mini map um because otherwise they just get stream sniped. They're too popular. But I am not. So as long as possible, I want to keep our minimap open. I struggle to watch streamers that like the minimap's hidden. It's really tough. First of all, a lot of them just don't talk that much, you know? So it's like, okay, I can get their perspective at least. And like, they'll talk occasionally. But you can't. Like, without the minimap, you can't understand like any high level decision making. It's like just not possible. 
a lot of people don't care they're like there to watch more casually and then it's fine but for me who's like there to learn and like try to understand what people are doing it's straight up impossible when the mini map is blocked like he's going down here does he feel safe is it a risk who knows right suddenly someone jumps him is like did we know this no idea that's the downside that's why like youtube content's really great when people want to do it because they don't like you can do that without hiding the minimap and all the info can be there but most people who are high level and pro like want to be pros and so they don't they don't do any of that oh you should just straight up try to fight here by the way don't run um jug is actually super good versus viper and level one is a great time to do it um so just go ahead and like let's see around here when he's like hitting you i would just start fighting back in crystal nova and just try to like burn through his health that's also why i think you want a blood grenade here i might even i would like replace the fairy fire with a blood grenade get a second set of tangos maybe instead of one of the mangoes and then buy the others with the starting gold so buy more mangoes buy more tangos um because you can actually just like fight him straight up and if you can kill him level one like twice it'd be huge so you can kind of see like if you turn sooner and you have a blood grenade like two extra auto attacks from you and then you chase down one more q like he's dead and the level one kill on viper is like massive it's also why you might want to buy a salve like with starting gold because level one if he blows everything but doesn't die you just like heal up and you get ready to fight yeah like don't let up this is good don't blow your spells on the spirit breaker i don't know if you're going to or not but in your lanes recognize like who can sustain the damage the best and who is most important to kill like these are two good questions to ask like viper is not only the most important guy to kill but if you waste spells on spirit breaker and he doesn't die he'll just go home and charge back out it'll be really quick so it's like it's almost not worth you poke him for free but you don't want to commit too much unless it works out with other things like oh he's next to viper so i hit both with q right okay that's fine um or like i think we can kill him so then we commit that's fine but don't waste too much on him when viper is like the more important guy I think if I reach the point where people want to snipe the channel. I'm not sure. I know there's like, you can put the, you can put the like, uh, what's it called? Like transparent one over it. I don't like that either though. It's a good middle ground, I guess. I would go for a kill at level three. Oh, level two works too. Pop your mangoes. Okay. Whew. I was worried there. Do not hold back. If Jug's going to spin, throw everything you've got. Oh, look at this high level courier usage. Let's go. So instead of a wind lace, I would buy more consumables. More mangoes, tango, sals. Like, as soon as you don't have health, you can't do it. Like, this is a fight to the death kind of lane. Would you consider delay? Yeah, so that's like one of the options. Is like, would I rather have like a couple minute delay on a channel? and allow you guys to like see the minimap actively i mean like half the time i ignore chat anyways right <laughs> i'm not there live like quite often and i like respond to things as i see them but it really does hurt like in between games we chat you know and stuff like that so it would suck to be like on a five minute delay at that point i think i would just bite the bullet in terms of like having my games ruined i think i would prefer that like leave it open and then when we think we're getting stream sniped we block it and then they check it doesn't work so they give up and then we like hey, 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 like show it again no one tell them we do that mm. 
Mm, or just play games and then like we hide it if we absolutely have to. And if someone stream snipes us, like we hide it and then we like take a break. And we hide the fact that we're queuing up. Like something like that. You know, I would just prefer that. I think it's so funny. I don't did your courier die? Did you just buy tangos after the tranquils came? Or like with the tranquils? Did you meant to mean to buy them earlier? The main thing I want you to take from this lane, I guess, Viper specific, but also against like some matchups. It, it's hard to describe them, like which heroes fit this, but like especially heroes that like win over time but are weak in the early game, or like it's just gonna be a lot of fighting. Buy consumables, like spend your money on consumables. Don't try to go for like, oh, greedy boots, greedy windlace, and then like you just can't fight. If you need to fight, you gotta fight. You gotta buy the consumables. So that's what I identify from this lane. Ignore chat? No, never. You guys? Don't bash me, bro! Oh, phew! <laughs> You introduce a requirement to list MMR on your Twitch profile, then you time out all the high. That would be hilarious, actually. That would be so funny. Um, if we reach a point where we are actually popular enough that we're getting sniped all the time, maybe we also have, like, I'll add mods in, and you guys can check for, like, the usernames, and, like, you can try to kick people out, like, he's in the game, kick him. I don't know, whatever. I lose a game. I mean, my MMR will just... Uh, see, the downside, though, is I kind of grief my team. If it was just me, I wouldn't care. Like, if I just sat, like, 1,000 or 2,000 MMR lower because every single game I'm playing, like, super hard mode, I would say whatever for me. Um, I'm clearly better than whoever stream sniping, right? So that's, like, that's good enough for me. But the fact that it kind of screws over everyone on my team feels bad. That's the, that's the part I'd have to think about. And that's why if you're a stream sniper, you're a piece of shit, guys. You're bad at the video game and you're ruining things for everyone. No one can have nice things. Stop being pieces of shit. Zach's PSA. To all the pieces of shit out there. Look for low bracket players. What's the expected time to buy a main item instead of consumables? Oh, that's such a hard question. Hmm. I'm going to answer your question with like another question slash thought process. It's really... You want to buy as few consumables as possible. And you want to buy more permanent items as soon as possible and you would prefer it but it's important not to skip the consumables right you have to go you have to like follow the steps properly so pretty much in the matchup you have to identify how greedy you can be getting the more permanent items but understanding that there's usually like the consumables are the short-term value and the permanent items are the long-term value it's the same way like if you play an rts like, I go to StarCraft, because that's, like, kind of what I grew up with, Age of Empires, right? You can do more economy-focused builds, where you, like, rush out extra bases and workers ASAP, but you're weak to being, like, run down and killed. Uh, and the same way, you can go, like, super aggressive, but you, like, sacrifice your whole long-term. Like, Dota, you're, like, doing your best to find that middle ground. And understand sometimes you can, like, oh, I'm going to go greedy this game, or, like, okay, I'm going to go way too heavy at the start. It might slow me later, but I'll be, like, really strong here, right? You kind of have to make that decision and then take your best bet at it. And like, if you decide you need consumables, then you don't have to worry about like, oh, I'm like a little delayed on these items usually. Like if you had gone greedy, you would have been totally shit stomped, you know? And like, you would never hit your timings anyways. So it's, it's very difficult to say and to put like a time on it when it depends on the matchup. Especially because if you're building early items, in a volatile lane, you might actually end up getting kills, which then puts you right back on track, you know? So it's very difficult to put a time component to it. I would just work on identifying, I think I need to go 
like heavy consumables play this lane give it a go see how it feels were you right were you wrong did you think like i think i was right but then that viper just didn't do anything he was just super passive you know you can't bet on that but you want to try to understand that to make sure you don't you're not like oh i didn't need to do it right it was just that guy he was bad you did need to do it you were doing the correct thing he was just bad and made it seem like you didn't need to and that's the other thing if you can identify people are bad you can try to abuse that okay i'm sorry Monch. i'm like half half focused okay i'm gonna i'm gonna watch for a few minutes here we're gonna we're gonna make sure you're getting useful information uh if you're gonna bother coming mid it's usually worth it to place your sentries and check so for example as you approach this way either like sentry over here check this or sentry like something here if you do want to try to gank sniper you pretty much have to like hug this edge and like pop up this way to make sure he doesn't see you from this way but I don't know you can just do it and if he backs off go for the sentry after that that's kind of fine too i wouldn't worry about blocking camps do it only against like you're like oh shit that guy's gonna cheese us like meepo arc warden alchemist it's just usually not worth it because the map's too big you're gonna run out of sentries for d warding and there's like so many other camps to farm Nice. I like the way you're using your ultimate. It's pretty good. Um, Lena maybe could have stayed here. Or you could have left with Lena. You kind of see, like, we don't really do anything to Viper on his own. So it's kind of funny. I don't like that observer. I think that's too contested of an area. And like, what's it going to see for you at this stage? Are you trying to defend a tower with that kind of observer usually? But I mean, this tower is like dead. The main thing you need to see this game is like where Spirit Breaker is. So you don't need like shallow wards like this. Like when you see Spirit Breaker here and you're here, like it's probably too late. You need like deeper wards like back here, back here. Somewhere like over here. You need to see Spear Breaker like coming from the fountain into the lane or like deep in here and you like see him go like through here or something like that. So you don't want like shallow wards like this versus Spirit Breaker typically. Unless you plan on just camping an area. But I'd say like you should be running around with the Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter wants to get kills, needs to get kills right now. So like him and Monkey King and Lena are all strongish to like do stuff. And so like if you're just sitting here defending this tower, like, that's not going to happen. And you guys should let the invis guy go first there. Thought they were going to imminently cause a fight. Okay, that's fine. Sick. This worked out. Make sure. Uh, something to be aware of. Sometimes it would take like three or four more auto attacks to kill, but like one more spell to kill. Especially when the spell will enable you to get off more auto attacks. This happens a lot with burst spells. So here, like he's not moving and he slowed, right? So you're attacking and moving. And you didn't do it here. So like, I'm just, I'm just using this as a teaching moment. You, this guy will die to one more spell guaranteed. Especially if it's like frostbite, right? Cause not only will it be the damage, but you'll be allowed to attack. But if you are not in range for frostbite because you're trying to auto attack and your auto attacks do like a fifth of like frostbite okay actually that's an exaggeration like a third to a fourth right then he's gonna get away so in those cases as a support or any hero like just walk next to the hero don't try to like kite attack because they're going to outpace you when they don't have to like stand still and you're trying to run stand still attack 
and then run like he's just gonna get out of range so in those cases especially if the spells get low cooldown you just like walk next to them and then frostbite but he was slowed and you guys are like are all there so like yeah it was fine here Okay, you built a four staff this game. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Next item. Glimmer is fine. So is like Yules, maybe drums. You guys gotta let the invis guy go first. <laughs> Bounty stuns and slows, let him go first. I think it was like the second kill we were paying attention to that you guys are just trying to like run up first. Uh, playing this top half would be easier for you. You've been kind of like down here a lot. This ward is good to enable play like in this area, but playing up here will be a lot easier if you come there when you like respawn. Top's kind of okay. You see how you put your sentry here? Because you were like, oh man, hope there's no observers here. All right. They're going to come and do the same thing at some point. Be like, oh man, hope there's no deep wards here. I better put it in an area that like roughly covers the edges, right? And then like, it's not perfect. But you went ahead and put your observer like in this sentry. The same sentry like you placed to look for this kind of stuff. So like, this should go further. Like you see like this corner, it does not catch. And... If you were to ward on this downside, like you wanted it, like that's why you would pick these edges. Cause if they're like, oh, I kind of want to like cut this corner. So I'm going to put my sentry higher up, right? That means it's these edges that don't get caught. But if you like put your observer here, cause it's like, oh, it's kind of the same. The vision's kind of the same, but your odds of getting deorded are a lot higher. So this should be like here. Um, or you want to like put it over here. That's good too. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like all. I'm glad it's like not in the middle, but like it should still be at the edges. You're like, you're like 80% of the way there to like a really good play, but the the last 20% makes it like makes a big difference. Um, not sure if I mentioned yet, but you talk about leveling up Nova versus Frostbite. I didn't mention it. It depends on the game. I would generally say that Frostbite first is really good right now. If your team needs more wave clear, uh, especially if you're dealing with early aggression and some summons, like stuff like that, I do think Crystal Nova first can be good. But right now, I would say W is okay, like to max first. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm kind of down for this shard too. I don't know if it's any good or if it's just funny, but like if Spirit Breaker's charging towards you and then you like shard away, maybe he'll root himself. A lot of pros sent and obs in the same spot. So high level benefit to putting a sentry and observer in literally the exact same spot is that one, they overlap. And so when someone comes to D ward, they may hit and miss a little bit. Um, they like hit the sentry instead of the observer or like they hit the observer once, hit the sentry a second time on the second hit, you know, and you like kill their sentry that time. So there's one, that benefit where they overlap. Second, um let's see if there's an example in this game i don't see one but let's say this sentry can i see it yeah you put this sentry down or he they put the sentry down right and they're thinking about where to observer place an observer in this sentry range you are 100 percent confident there is no other sentry because you would see it as soon as you deviate a little bit in any direction, you cannot be confident that they don't have a sentry there, right? So from this sentry, if you put an observer right here, you're like, oh, it's close enough, right? Yes, but there's a chance you missed a sentry like right over here, you know, and you're just like a little bit off. So by putting the observer in the exact same spot as a sentry, you are guaranteeing that at this moment, they do not have a sentry that sees your observer. But if you don't do that, there's a chance that 
you just get unlucky. They have a sentry here. They kill your observer. They don't see your sentry, right? And you didn't know. Um, on cliffs, it's usually the reason I mentioned first. Like, you overlap them and hope they screw it up as they, like, trying to deord. Chaotic Buddha, what's up? I am good. Been up to any crazy shit? I did an Enchantress game today. That's probably the craziest thing. All right. I think we're going to move on. I think we've talked about a couple things. We got to do Sinisters and then maybe even one more after that. Uh, like I said, tomorrow, probably going to work on videos. I have like the funniest, I have the funniest submission, I think, for, or let me change it. I think it's the perfect submission for whose fault is it anyways, and like the concept that I started that series for, and I'm going to try to turn it into the funniest episode we've ever had, but maybe I'll completely fall flat and it'll suck. I think it's going to take a lot of work, so I want to spend time on it tomorrow. And depending how I feel about it, I may may or may not stream Outer Wilds. But uh, anyways, we'll continue with this. Like, we're still streaming now, but for a little longer. Because uh, I do want to stop. It was pretty draining casting for like five days, I gotta say. Hey, Mikcha, thanks for gifting a sub to Baby Chariot. You got a classic one for you? Okay, we'll see if you get the... Uh, I gotta do this one first. Hef double picked a winner for us. We gotta make sure to cover it. All is fair. I didn't even check who you were playing here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. where are you? Triant. Okay. Legend. Pipe. Soft. Support. I almost said soft space. Uh, I see I have like some Discord pings. Let me just double check. There's nothing important I'm missing. So you guys just sharing whatever. This is why I sometimes forget to respond to stuff, by the way, guys. Uh, like sometimes I check to make sure I'm not missing anything important. And then, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I'll respond to that later. And then I forget. Okay, I think we're okay. All right, Treant, Sinister MJ, are you still here? Is there anything in particular you were wondering about? What's the reason for Arcane Aura? Maxed first. Oh wait, sorry. You were, you were guys talking about this level? Uh, you should actually level Arcane Aura first and Frostbite second, as in max. I would... I probably wouldn't max it, but I do often like to get a second point in it early sometimes. Like go QWEE, -E, especially if I have teammates who really benefit from mana. I don't typically max it first though. I just think it's not worth it. Three points, maybe, if like for like a really heavy mana team. But right now, I don't feel like that's so much the case. And I think the early lockdown's better from like Frostbite. Um, there's probably some like five man ultra mana lineup that you could justify it, but yeah, I just think like probably not that many. Okay, Trent. Lane was okay-ish. 20 minutes plus. What should I have done instead? Okay. Let's go ahead and check the graph then real quick. So lane was okay. Wow, these are really low in terms of overall farm. What do you have? The specter lane? Specter into what? Um, Magnus. Okay, there's a part of me that wants to look over this because all these last hits across the board are pretty low. So maybe people are just missing last hits, or maybe you guys just got involved in, like, lots of fights. Uh, but it does look like by 20 minutes, like you mentioned, like, okay, things are looking kind of good, but then, you know, maybe it, maybe we screw it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's quickly go through the laning stage real quick. Wait, 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 wait. You're soft support. Soft support. I'm sorry. I forgot. That means you are with who? You are... S not Slardar. You are Mars. 
you and Mars versus Anti Mage and Witch Doctor. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, this lane could go better. Witch Doctor does make it a little scary. Some of this is the weakness of Treant 4, like why I think he's a better 5. Let's see. I would say a nice thing for you here is like just being able to deny creeps like really high base damage. It's pretty tough for you to kill Anti-Mage since what's his name? Anti-Mage <laughs> can blink, just like blink out. Mm, I think you're like messing with the support, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, I guess you're, maybe you were intentionally trying to creep drag. I think you can just play this lane normally though. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend like spending so much time there. I would just like be in the lane punching creeps or punching the heroes. Yeah, like this, but a minute ago. Yeah, that's why we kind of just punch him, right? When he's a melee hero and just walks up, we just punch. And then you'd be level two here if you were in the lane rather than like out here. Okay, kind of unlucky on this first blood. I think this will be fixed if you don't go to the back and you just stay in the lane. You'll hit level two sooner and you can just fight. Or you had the sentry, but just like didn't seem willing to commit it to that small camp. So I think doing that as well at the start could have been good. Uh, I think you need like mangoes more than like the sage's mask since he'll just keep burning off mana, right? You just need to make sure you have the burst of mana as soon as you need it. So like a mango or two into this matchup, I think could be good. And then like work on arcanes after that. But like really this this lane, I'm just gonna like stand in there and like punch things. I'm gonna be high stat healing heroes. I think stick is good. Like just replace this with mangoes and then like work on it after. Um, yeah, I mean, instead of this, it should just be like a pull or a stack, I think. Like, forget the bounty rune. The bounty runes aren't important. Bounty rune should be like your lowest priority. Everyone, I see you guys do it. You'll go for like the bounty runes at three minutes. It's not that, it's not that important. It like takes you too far out of the lane. I, I just would like ignore it. Yeah, like, look how easy it is. Every time you guys like walk up, you push him away. And then you just like come back again, right? That's why I think like mangoes and then boots would be really good. You don't even need like this early sages mask. Like see how many last hits this guy's missing? But then you guys like push it a little too hard. So now you're in danger. You just gotta like stand there and punch things. And then like as soon as he walks away, you're like free to deny creeps. This is a good pull. Okay, so let's jump ahead then to like 20 minutes. Arcane's working on the blink. You got your shard too. We have a mid slardar is a little funny. Uh, your team can do Roche early thanks to the slardar. All right, this is good. I'd say like Roche on here would be nice. Pubs. So, moving on now. Besides the Roshan, what else could we do? Oops. Oh, maybe intentional. I think warding after that fight. Like, if your team's not going to do Rosh, coming in this triangle to do a ward would have been good. Now it's a little late. Now it's pretty scary to come in here. I think an observer like right here is kind of okay. They might expect it. I don't know. It, it depends on what level you think they're playing at. Like they might put that to spot for a tree and protector. So if you want to avoid it, that's okay. But I think that's like pretty, like, you gotta think that far ahead. So depending on your brackets, like an observer right there could be okay. This one was legend. I'd say you're like approaching that point where like maybe we don't do it. I don't know. People just forget about Treant. Ooh, 
Roche. I mean, Tormentor. Cool. All right, you can just go finish your blink. Just, like, farm it somewhere. Peekaboo. You gotta hold on that. All right, so let's let's talk through this this here. I think a lot of support players will actually just Dota players in general will struggle with this. All right, so the mindset going in here, we're looking for anti mage. The idea, maybe we can punch root, you know, get the rest in. So first of all, Slardar just like kind of ru ruined it by like sprinting through this like why would you do this it just doesn't make any sense right like imagine imagine you have like some carry farming back here and a creep wave is like right here or here i guess right and then like invoker you see invoker he's not even invis or razor they just like walk through the creeps right it's so obvious what's happening because they're like why is he just going through the creeps if he was going to farm the creeps he would like stop here and like hit the creeps and like use spells He's like beelining through the creeps and like what's on the other side? Oh my god, a carry, right? So from Anti-Mage's perspective, like Slardar coming through here, like it's already revealed. Like Slardar knows where I am and he thinks it's worth his time to chase me. That means I'm in danger and I need to leave. So like from Anti-Mage's perspective, he should get out. From your perspective, to me, this aggressive play is done. Like they know what's happening and we can't go any further. But pub game so like maybe we can right so you're gonna place that and then come out a little further so if we want to kill this guy what does it mean like we're gonna need to chain stun him because otherwise he's just going to blink away and if you check his items he's got the manta so your root's not enough it has to be a root like into an ultimate like after he dispels and before he blinks away that's like really hard but you need like potentially you could catch him off guard with a punch out of invis and in that moment, you have probably less than half a second for the rest of the chain stun to happen. And if it doesn't happen, the kill doesn't happen. So when you punch him here, we have to ask ourselves, like, will the half second be enough? Will we get the follow-up stun from Rubik or Slardar? And the answer is like, no, they're too far, right? So then I think a lot of people hit here because it's like, well, he's about to get out, so, like, I should try, right? I'll hit him and all that. And it doesn't really cost me much. But that's what I, that's why I want to bring this up. It does cost you something. They now know you're down here, guaranteed. Like, I think you might have caught flashes of you anyways as your invis broke. But, like, 100% guaranteed, Train Protector is now down here. And, like, he knows that. His whole team can now know that. And, like, that's the opportunity cost. But if you continue to stay hidden, you know, he might, like, stay too long he might wander out and then you might have a window where like he's closer to these guys and that half second we're talking about like becomes feasible again but as soon as you like hit and reveal you're here like it's kind of done like he knows he knows to be careful of it break off all right so this is one play that goes poorly but one play does not decide the whole game so let's keep going let's speed up a little bit quack, 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 quack. hey respawn go like farm up the blank yeah it kind of looks like what you're doing all right they're gonna get roche first even though i think we could have done it earlier that's too bad that's one mistake we made or, like we as a team and then looks like we're getting to a pretty involved fight here. Well, skewer back. That's pretty funny. Okay, she's just gonna go for it and then walk forward. She's gonna prompt Mars to ult in. All right, that was a kind of a messy fight for both sides, but it sort of worked out for us. 
Man, I wish he had a blank. Wish he had a blank. Oops. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. What the heck? It's the longest harpoon I've ever seen in my life. That shouldn't work. It doesn't make any sense, guys. Everyone knows when you play a game with some kind of like harpoon grapple hook mechanic, right? There is a limit to the range. The max range is it. You can't hit things beyond that. This is ridiculous. Dota 2, what are you doing? Clearly, the hook should only go up to like about here. And if the guy's out of it, that's it. It misses. It's like punch hook, right? Does it go beyond that? That's insane. All right, that's pretty funny. I didn't know it showed the cooldown there. Oh, I guess it I guess they do it because this now has a separate cooldown than the five seconds. I didn't realize that. I am clearly not someone who has built harpoon very often in his life. Some poor harpoonless support. Feels like a pretty forced Roche considering our forced fight considering that they have Roche. And like if you guys want to go for a pickoff, that's like that's fine. Feels like a little more than necessary. Spectre chose to kill a witch doctor instead of Razor, unlucky. All right, so from what I've seen, you guys had the chance to do Roche, but didn't up here where we started after we jumped forward. That was like 18, 19 minutes. Uh, with the mid Slardar, like your heal armor, right? Your team could have done it. You guys don't do it. You take a weird fight later. They do it. Take a weird fight after that as well. Uh, and there goes our whole lead. Once they have Aegis, your team's plan is to like split push a bit and just look for pickoffs. That's like Triant's whole thing with the shard, right? He's just like scouting people and he's like, here's the guy. Everyone come here, get the guy. Um, I wish he had a blink. That does hurt this game. That's kind of what you guys are doing here, right? You go find the guy. This was more off of the observer originally, but like that's the idea, right? You find the guy and then you can do stuff like that. A Heagle, but hmm. Because actually, Aldina Reno, we owe one as well. With the double win last time. Oh. Time is at five. Two. Well, then you can't be here. All right, so that's a little bit out of position on ourselves. Conceptually. There's no reason to farm this besides gold. I mean, that's not fully true, but when we do like a cost benefit analysis and like risk versus reward, the benefit of pushing lanes is, is vision and map control, right? Like the reason you would push out bottom is that it's like, it's down here and you kind of know when heroes are here or not. So like the lane being here, I mean, I know it's one creep left, but like, 
effectively you have accomplished what you need to by like having shoving in mid you know like where it is and currently you don't know where the enemy heroes are so there's a lot of extra risk being in this area this creep's gonna die uh oh it's gonna push out it's gonna push out to here and become actually a lot safer to farm it's much easier for you to kill a creep wave here than like right here or like the east is the same but like the risk to you is very different so you should just let this creep wave walk by you. There's no extra benefit, really, for you killing it right here. There's only extra risk. And that's kind of why you die coming up here. All right, they just kill you. Because you can't see, like, past all this. But if you, like, observer here, potentially, and then you, like, let it come up here and you're, like, farming here, you can see them like, oh, shit, kill that tree and guys, let's go in, you know? And you're like, oh, f you know? And you, like, you bolt out and you, like, you walk away and it's much safer. Or, as they're, like, coming in, your team, like, oh, shit, they're looking at our tree and trying to kill our tree, and now he doesn't know that we're coming in from the side. We're going to flank him, right? Plus 50% accuracy to, like, attacks or whatever. Uh, so they're going to come in from the side. And not actually, good. Not, no Dota 2 mechanic. That was a joke, but I understand that might be confusing if you're a new Dota player. There's no, there's no accuracy thing like that. Uh, but tactically, it's good, right? They're, like, focused on you looking this way, and then suddenly a Mars jumps them, and they don't even see it because their screen is not watching. And they get like jumped on the side. So you turn around and come in this way. So we have a Mars bling. Bruh. Towers, you know the Can I report him from a replay? <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Let's do um uh El Dinarino, are you here? Yeah, but I don't need to have it done today. Thanks for remembering. Okay, no problem. Um, in that case, yeah, we'll do yours whenever you want. Let me know. Uh, we can do it another time. Hegel. Oh, you also said we can do it tomorrow. Or whenever we next stream. Yeah. Um, but I... Uh, what time is it, actually? How long have I been streaming? I want to do one more. Actually, I do want to go eat. I'm really hungry. Hmm. One more game. No, no, I would stop. I would stop. Got a comedy game. I believe you, but it also wouldn't be fair since it's mostly raffle. I can't. Can't do that kind of thing. Otherwise, we're down a slippery slope. Everyone must win their replays. Unless I decide otherwise, because I have, I have full control here. <laughs> or pay the 20k points. That's true. That's true. Um... I'm down to do one. Let's do uh, El Dino Reno or Heagle. I'm down to like do it. Um, maybe El Dino Reno if you have a good one. If you don't, that's fine. Um, Heagle, since you redeemed the points, I feel like I need to like. I don't want to give you like a short end one. If neither of you feel like doing it today, that's totally fine. I think we will end the stream at that point then. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow, maybe, maybe, uh, Outer Wilds, otherwise Friday, back to Dota. And if, if, uh, Nature's is banned, we'll be either playing Vengeful Spirit or Enchantress, I think. Where should we go? I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow, so I need content to watch. Want some food? <laughs> That's cool. What kind of tattoo? Uh, actually, you don't have to share anything you don't want to, but that'll be... That's fun. I am down to get a tattoo, but I don't know what I would want. You know, like it's going to be, it's going to be there forever. 
Like, I want it to be something I want. But I don't know what that is. I, Ooh, that? I have no Thank idea you. what I would get. Just got home. Ready for a great, long stream. <laughs> Thamata. Hang on to that readiness for later. <laughs> uh, hooligan. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, though. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the casting. <laughs> no, guys, no. The stream's ending. The stream's ending. <laughs> okay, here. I'll send you guys some... It looks like they're doing something fun. How about that? Oh, wait. Did they just stop? LMAO. I think they literally just stopped. Time to riot. No, no rioting. This is Valve. That's what I thought. I thought I was about to send you guys to Lyrical because I just saw it was like, oh, we're going to do like level one Roches. Oh, no, he is up. Right? Am I crazy? Let me open the stream. I like saw it and then it disappeared and I thought he was done. Oh, no, they're still doing it. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, tomorrow... Potentially Outer Wilds, if not Friday, back to Dota. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys all the, ni the nice words. I'm glad you enjoyed the, uh, the casting. Oh, there we go. And ending on a, on a napping cat. I'll see you guys later in the next day or two. Sorry, I know you guys just got here, but uh, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. Uh, we'll do, we'll do, uh, Heagles and Elden Rios 